Go down. Aww. Go lay down, I would. I just don't want him in here because he's going to be barking. <laughs> I know. That's I his if, move. If he was a shoe. If Elwood was a shoe? Yeah, he'd be like a, what, S, XL. He would be a sick ass shoe because the browns and stuff, yeah. like his colorway would be Br sick. Brown yeah, Elwood's colorway would be legit. <laughs> An Elwood colorway, yeah. that'd be legendary. I always thought about doing a, you know, you should have like an all I need shoe board. Yeah, that'd be sick. All classic shoes. Damn, that would be sick. KK, sit down real quick. Did you test the mics out? You should probably do that. Yeah, let's do that. Watch the light, kid. Sorry, man. I'm trying to figure out. Can you... That one's good. That one's good. You want to snap into the microphone? A little closer? Oh, there we go. We're good. Take a seat, man. I want to see if you're uh, actually in Make this. Sure or... in shot. You guys are in there, but I got to pull it back a little more. Whoa, don't get crazy, boys. Don't get crazy. Damn, the shoe spread is looking heavy, though. Yeah, it's pretty much my life. You pulling up YouTube? Yeah, I'm pulling up GarageBand on here, and then I got YouTube pulled up on my computer. Hopefully the volume's loud enough for the people. Ethan Avalar says, what up? What up, dude? All right, I think we're good, man. We're live. Let me know when you get that rolling. What's up, everybody? Choo, 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 choo. Mics are on. Copy from Matt. Yep. Hit hit uh, iTunes, please. Thank you. I'm not having coffee today. I'm having some tea. It's tea time today with the boys. Kind of looks like the shoes are steaming, dude. Yeah, a little bit. They're fucking hot. All right. Do a little test record. I want to make sure that the audio is crisp. Yo, yo, yo. Testing, testing. Hit test, test. Chit, 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 chit. Let's give it a run back. Yo, yo, yo. Testing, testing. Test, test. Ooh, we're good. good. You want it like about a fist away or even as like, close as you want. All right. I guess we're here, man. We're good. Try to figure out how to use this. Let's see. You're, you're a pro. This is my first podcast. You're this. No this way. my first podcast ever. Yeah. <laughs> See, last year, man, that was great. Yeah, has it been that long? Yeah. Yeah, it's been like a year almost? Yeah, about a year. That's wild, dude. Yeah, although it was dark when I showed up, but like, yeah, I'm a dude, so I don't remember the directions here. I just kind of like, oh, everything looks familiar, and I magically show up here. <laughs> That's a dude thing? I guess it's a dude thing. I'm not asking for directions. Nice. You know, I'm just going to show up. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's true. Most guys, I don't know if that's a stereotype or not. No, I Used to be more, right? It was me. Nice. How's your coffee? Hot? It's lava. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be feeling anything for a week. Nice. Well, um, let's give the people a little introduction, man. So, Matt, may you give me your full name and kind of explain what's going on right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. so my name is Matt Gerard, and I am a shoe collector. I started collecting shoes about six years ago. I'm primarily interested in a lot of like Circa footwear, uh, the Chad Muska, or like America and S. So no real, real corporate stuff. But um, yeah, that's the scope of my collection. And uh, how much do you think you've spent on this shoe collection thus far? Uh, I kind of didn't want to go into that, but um, <laughs> I'm not. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really sure because I haven't really kept count. But um. It, it all started when I noticed an eBay seller out of Australia it was like a, it was a motocross superstore or something. And they had all this old stock of Muska shoes. Yeah. Selling for like dirt cheap. So I, I got basically a pallet. I bought like a pallet of shoes nice. from them and I kept a few pairs and sold the rest. So I was able to have like a good PayPal balance. Yeah. And, you know, funded most of my shoes. And it was just, all right, so... I'm sure we talked about this last time, but why, why this, what's the obsession? What is it? Just, it's the nostalgia, man. Like, I don't think we'll ever see a style like this ever again. It's not know? coming back. Something so big. It's, it's coming back. Like DC and S are doing pretty good things, but I, I mean, just the sheer size of them was huge. And I, I don't think in these days I'd be able to skate any of these, but you know, the nostalgia is there. Like back in the day, this cost them too. I never thought I'd be into the shoe, but like as it, as time went on, I was like, dude, I gotta have that shoe. And it was already, it was already too late, and I was already older. 
I definitely hated on this thing when it came yeah. out. I yeah, was it was like, like fuck a... that thing. I was a purist. The Costin one was so sick, and I was like, I mean, I'm sure I skated a pair though. I definitely yeah. did. Yeah, I'm sure you've skated the the Costin one. I've seen you in this. Oh, there she is. Yeah, That's yeah. one of my favorite shoes so, ever. To go from that to that shoe was pretty drastic. This is one of my favorite all time shoes ever. <laughs> and it's so big now, isn't it? I know, right? You ever skate in something like this, KK? Somewhat. Would Not you? quite. A D3? But, nah, <laughs> nah, I remember like in fourth grade though, uh, there was that pair of Americas I was telling you about before this, and then um, I had another pair of uh, S's. I do not remember the model. I wonder what uh, pair of that They were brown American and white. Was. I remember that. Could have been in Ellington, oh, like an Ellington too. Yeah. No air bubble. But they were pretty hand. poofy. No, they weren't like it was like kind of on the way out. Like that says like they were starting to slim down. Yeah. You know what I mean, maybe like a bulk sole. Yeah, yeah. But still like a big tongue. Real quick, let me just shout out to YouTube Live. Weird developer says hello. What's up, my G? How you doing? Ethan Avalar again said what up. Uh, Rough Son Skateboard says get that knee better, KK. Oh yeah. I wish you the best, man. Thank you, man. Actually, I heard a bunch of people were saying some feedback about hoping your knee's good. So thank you. And what's the update? Give us the the. I can skate play by in like play. two weeks, hopefully. I yeah. I'm gonna find out tomorrow, but yeah. Two weeks? Yeah, maybe even less. I mean, I was walking the same day as surgery, so. Yeah. Yeah. They just went in, scoped it out. Yeah. Chris yeah. didn't lose that much meniscus. No. Nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you still awesome. have the hydraulic legs? Yeah, exactly. Hopefully. <laughs> Only ten feet high. He, he definitely does. Yeah. If like my my knees destroyed, and I can still yeah. like hop and jump down, you know. So. Mm. KK's good. Rashid Elliott, shout out YouTube Live. Thanks for tuning Yo, in. What's up, guys? Uh, what's up, man? Um, let's get let's get into it though. Give us a rundown. Give pull up some of these things. Break right, them down. Um, us. Give us. Do you know years and time? And... I do. I do. Unfortunately, that's good. <laughs> Can you grab me that first shoe over there? Yeah. This is awesome. This yeah. is like a shoe tour. Just the <laughs> expert here. So this was the first shoe Chad Muska had on Circuit Footwear. Oh. It was like 1999. Wow. Um. It was another colorway that was first released, but this one you could tell was um, close to the first release because of the vents right here are mesh, yeah, like plastic top. mesh, and those frayed in a, in like a day. So the story was, I guess the factory they didn't use the mesh that was on the samples because they thought it wasn't going to be a skate shoe. Yeah. So they implemented this, and then you know when skaters would wear it, it would just tear really easily. So they had like a um, a return policy, and they gave people like the updated shoe with this mesh on the tongue so in like the toe box so that top part of the shoe right here was blowing out and people's yeah. shoes are just socks are just getting all wet and stuff right yeah yeah within, <laughs> within like a few times of wearing it look at the fucking uh it's so huge the reinforcement though on the, in the stash pocket. pocket yeah is there a stash pocket in that one yeah stash pocket right here there yeah, she we'll is. open it up this one's kind of fragile so what do you oh, think really? Mosca put in there uh don't, don't ruin it. Pokemon that. cards. Bullshit. <laughs> Some pogs or something. Pot? Pogs. <laughs> Remember pogs? Those things were ridiculous, man. Yeah. What color? What's the colorway on that? Was it black? Yeah, black and gum. So that's how you know it's one of the first releases because of the gum right here. Yeah. And the second release had like all black. It was all blacked out. But yes, yeah, the stash pocket right there. Is that a sample one? Because I see on the bottom. Is that like it's not a sample, but you could see on the bottom they had a lot of these air po air pockets. Yeah. So you have an air bubble on the heel, and then right here under the like the medial oh, arch. Oh yeah, that's what it is. All right, I see. That's insane, dude. Yeah, it, it's crazy. It's like a lot of technical stuff that you don't really need. I mean, they did advertise it as like the most advanced shoe, yeah. you know, in skateboard <laughs> history in 1999, but you know the air pockets and stuff, hmm. pretty functional, but. A lot of people could debate that. Right? On the Costum it's Ones. It's not really needed. They blow out. Yeah, on the Costum Ones, I blew those ones out all the time. But in the back, that thing would just be like you're bushing, you know? You just crack it and pop and just be like, done. Damn. Yeah, and I believe the first, co well, we post a lot, the first Costums that don't have the air airbag. Yeah. So they didn't have the rights for the patent because the Nike had the airbag. So they couldn't put one in there. But then once, I guess, the patent patent ended or however that goes yeah they could put it in there no shit but then the reissue wow. came out in 05 and there was no airbag in so sometimes people you know they'll dm us saying yo i have the ones without the airbag like these are worth so much but they're the reissues yeah you so gotta you look know, for you gotta yeah. Know, yeah you gotta look for the the big chunky uh you know this part of the outsole right here the foam midsole 
How do you feel about Rhea's shoes? In, in, in skateboard graphics and shoes. Uh, I feel that they sh they should be at least true to the original to be called a reissue because some brands are calling things reissues. Like Circa did something where they had the 201 reissue and it was just a bulk with like maybe one stitch that was synonymous with the old shoe. So, so they called it a reissue, but it really was just like kind of a failure. Yeah. It was just like a totally different model. Yeah, I, I agree though. Like that shoe nowadays probably wouldn't sell so, so well with the younger kids, you know, like the younger crowd probably couldn't shred the original shoe because it's so bulky yeah so it's something you have to do but like us collectors and us that do see the trend changing a little bit towards bulkier stuff you know i think the brand should you know stick out a little bit and, and try some of those reissues yeah like dc is doing amazing things yeah you're saying uh, S, S has been doing some great things as well they've been steady on it actually yeah, yeah. that's good to hear too because there's like last podcast i think we were talking about the takeover of shoe brands the last few podcasts yeah. kind of went back to that i talked about that a lot in the beginning of the podcast when we started it and yeah. then it's popped back up you know so yeah I, I think it's amazing i see uh the josh kalis one the og DC. Yeah. That thing's amazing. And people are still shredding that thing, no problem. Like it's a really expensive reissue to buy right now as a skate shoe, but people don't care, like breaking them out and skating them. Yeah. Even though they're that big. It's like, you know, you got the pants, you got the shoe. Go like it. whatever. Yeah. The visor. Somehow the, the visor, visor comes out. Yeah, like, swishy. People swishy ran pants. the visor. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. <laughs> That's so funny, man. <laughs> um how so how often do you post on this on is it mostly Instagram? Yeah, I, we post mostly on Instagram. I'm not heavily on the Instagram. I would say one time a week I'll try to make a post. Nice. There's uh, one of the dude, uh, shout out to Clay Griffin. Uh, he is on it like all the time. So if you see somebody using a li little bit different lingo, that probably wouldn't be something like uh, oh, corny white Matt would say. <laughs> you know, like it's probably somebody else. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, though, try to be you know? I like that Don't though. Swear people. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll swear for you, bro. <laughs> some some people do need to be swear, you know, sworn at because like you'll have a collection. Oh, we started doing uh, classifieds and like selling shoes for people. Yeah. And they'll come up and they'll be like entitled to know the price and where you will ship it to. And we're like, that's not our shoe. Yeah. Like we we post other people's shoes and they're like, like fuck you then. Yeah, they get mad at I'm you. Like, well, yeah. dude, what? Like, we're posting it for this person. Just read the description. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go take it up with them, dude. Yeah. yeah. I deal with that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> My personal Instagram, Selling the Wind, it's all the Circa Muska shoes. So people will DM me just being like, oh, I need the the Red Toe 503. I'm like, so do I. <laughs> you know, that's why I collect. I'm not a store, but it. my name has selling, it, I guess, you know, in, yeah. in the name, just from a song. But uh, they'll also say, like, you, I got $40. Yeah, like, right. you. Yeah, dude, you're not going anywhere with that. <laughs> Sorry for you, bro. You might be able to go to Walmart and buy some new circus yeah. because they sell them there. Oh, do that. Yeah, and uh, I call them, well, really? they sell it on the website. Uh, so, yeah. like, you technically can't say, like, um, you can buy shoes at Walmart, but technically you can say, like, Walmart sells circus yeah. shoes. And I posted that on their Instagram just saying, Cirque is more interested in selling shoes to Walmart than, you know, innovate like do an r&d on a shoe that skaters would feel uh proud wearing and i i know it's a dig at the company but like they haven't really come out with anything do they, that's what i was going to ask did they have a skate program that's uh, walmart watching. no uh circa circa <laughs> walmart <laughs> <laughs> well i mean Niger. Like, Niger. Niger. pretty sure he rides for them what's that Niger walmart <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> it's funny i don't know Monster Walmart. Oh, <gasps> it's logos. Yeah, <laughs> there's a vibe in there. Yeah, so they. But does Circa do skate program? What do you mean by that? Like, do they? Do you know if they have a skate team right now? Because remember, they, like Winter well, James and like they had a gnarly team. I don't know. They point. did. They did just sign someone on there, but um, you know, it's always been Lopez. So yeah. like, Lopez is pretty much Adrian Lopez. Yeah, Adrian Lopez. Dude, Gunnar was just telling me about how um. That was one of his favorite skaters because you'd only skate back that or mostly yeah, back. Yeah, I love that about him, dude. I yeah. just like watch the thrill of it all, like loop <laughs> looped his part. Nice. And it's like just knowing that he was a part of Circa. Like Circa had a heavy team from like ninety nine to like two thousand five. Yeah. Of course, like I'm missing a few people that are probably gonna get upset, like a few bros. Sorry for you. But like remember that Col was a Col Cannon used to ride with Col Circa. Yeah, Col Cannon. John Rattray, right? Rattray, yeah. Oh dude. Jamie that's... Thomas Rattray. Yeah. Like, Apple Yarn. Apple Yarn. On that side. It was such a cool dynamic. Yeah. Dude, pull up uh, 
Can we pull up some uh, circa footage? Yeah, yeah. Just on plug it in and see what pulls up because it'll jar my memory a little bit. I used to like circas a lot, man. Yeah, but that was when they were doing skate shit. You know, they're like promoting and doing things for skateboarders and yeah, all they're the they're still shit. doing things too. But I mean, like they they blocked me from just showing dis dissent about their their newer models. That like you look at their comments and they're brutal. But yeah, I'm someone that like like I've been following them since '99 and I've like spent so much money. Yeah, and my family wasn't really really wealthy, so like every Christmas they would come through and they would get me a Muska. But like to see a company just go and block me now just because I. You know, I kind of made a little dig, but it wasn't like too immature. It was like kind of stating a fact, and yeah, other people are pretty brutal. Okay, this is, is what it is, dude. Now, can you show that to the followers? We'll, uh, we'll put no. a link in the description. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description. Yeah, we're working on that. We're working on studio this situation. Is, I mean, this is Muska making as one of his pro, pro models. <laughs> That's this one right here. Oh and shit! There it is. If you look at the comments, it's a lot of people asking where they can find the shoe, and it's like. <laughs> I don't know. There, this one's like a shoe of. Dude. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, dude, Muska was so sick. That's what got me hyped on all this stuff was Muska. You know, his skating, he was yeah. killing it. It made the shoes cool. Made his boards cool. It's just made like a his different style. Pants and I wonder cool. if that yeah. pair is in this video. <laughs> Never got the visor. Probably. I mean, they didn't. Make, they didn't make a lot of this red toe. Yeah. That's why, like, I have a few pairs. And I'm pretty pretty grateful for owning them because like there's there's not that many around. This is Ellington, right? No, that's a Muska right Muska. there. Muska, this is yeah. Muska. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said you had Ellingtons. I do. Right? Yeah, they're, they're in the box right yeah, now. Yeah, these these things. I remember my my friend Mike skated the. It probably wasn't the Muskas. It might have been the Ellingtons, but they were mm -hmm. rainbow like American flag, not rainbow American flag. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you ever see like the colors? Red, white, and blue. Yeah. 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 Was that? Do you know which model that, that was? was? The Ellington two. He did that for the Ellington one two one as well. Yeah. But it wasn't stripes. It was just like coded into the shoe. Like yeah. certain panels will be red, white, and blue. Yeah. Where the Ellington two had, you know, it did look like it was dipped in paint, so it was yeah. like red, white, and blue. Yeah. He was always interested in that, and like Ellington. He cared a lot about how his shoes came out. Yeah, sick. I'm sure, and Muska too, I'm sure, right? Oh, Constant, definitely, yeah. Like, a lot of skate influence, you know? Yeah. Although, this one is, like, basketball influence, because Costum was into basketball. Yeah, yeah. So, you could tell he was trying to do something different. Or... Yeah. The, the Muskas also take a lot from basketball as well. Like, a lot of people will see this, and if they were sneakerheads, they'd say, oh, it's a Jordan you know, X, like, whatever number it would be. Yeah. I don't know my Jordan, so I just I just know, like, it, the basketball influence in skateboarding shoes, like, made it pretty sick. Yeah, definitely. And when I said the team was stacked, it was, like, Chris Cole, Jamie Thomas. You had, like, all the rock and roll guys, rock yeah. and circus, and it was a really cool dynamic because, like, uh, Chad Muska, you know, he's, you see a lot of the hip-hop influence, and then you have Chris Cole wearing the CM seven hundred three. Yeah, and I, it kind of like gave it a different feel. Yeah, like kind of a rock and roll feel. I remember like that hip hop. Yeah, I remember there was like you could feel it change. Mm -hmm. Windsor James, um, me, Dean Williams yeah. was getting circus for a minute. Yeah, he had a pro model for a little while. Didn't they do some tours? But Sierra Feller, no circus time. Yeah, Sierra Fellers too. I'm good at Sierra Feller. Tony Tave. Tony Tave too, yeah. man. You're right. You're right. Yeah. See, when they were doing stuff with. Skateboarding, that was the sickest shit ever. I don't know if they still are or not. I'm not, I wasn't even sure how many skate brands there were, but then we thought about it a little bit. It's like America, Soul Tech still has got them, right? Yeah. Skater owned, skater run, they're doing skate programs. Yeah, they're right? awesome, yeah. America S, uh, Etnies, right? Mm -hmm. They all have skate programs, I imagine. They do, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? That's epic. Um, so, else? Circa, yeah, they definitely still do have skate, a skate program, and that's, that's what they're for, but it's like, I hear. They're changing a lot of ownership right now and stuff, so I don't know. Things are a little funky, and they banned me, so I'm just like, God damn it, that's low. <laughs> so, they <laughs> signed. Oh, no, <laughs> they didn't. They didn't sign the divorce papers. Yet, so, so I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, this podcast, they're gonna hear this for sure, and they're gonna be like, dude, the guy's not an asshole. He loves no, the no, shoes. I love you the fucking brand. love the brand. And it's like something. Look at what you have. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more over there that nobody can see, but yeah, um, we have. Yeah, it's, dude, it's insane. We're gonna get to. I'm a little embarrassed, but shoes. whatever. No, don't. <laughs> I'm more like I have so many shoes in my closet, and I have like a little storage unit too. And yeah, it's like if anybody knew where I lived, it's like. Yeah, just raid that room and you'll be set for oh, life. Man. They're just hoarders comes and yeah. camera. They're like, oh, he's buried in shoes. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a, a few funny stories about um, 
users that have like come and gone on chop on kicks where like sometimes i'll see a live i'll see somebody going live and i'll click on it and it's like uh you know their name will be like sneaker collecting it won't be like geared towards skateboarding and i'm skating with matt one time i see that live i click it i just see a dude in a shower with a pile of shoes <laughs> and some sick sh- some sick shit was going on <laughs> so i like i noped out real quick and i was like oh my god like, this shoe hobby this you could take so many turns and like find so many different niches of the collection Wait, collecting th- was that guy in the shower smashing it he was smashing that's it. what he was doing yes wow <laughs> interesting <laughs> With, w- yeah, with the shoe. Oh, man. Yeah, so there's some dudes that, it's kind of gross, but they want to buy shoes that are worn. Oh, so like, how many God. times did you wear this? You know, like, did you wear, did you change your socks? Are there any must And I'm like, on fuck, these? dude, like, this is my hobby, <laughs> and I collect new in box shoes because of the nostalgia for skateboarding, you know? And they're like, oh, I just, you know, I just like skaters. Like, send us some panties. Like, oh, <laughs> Make sure you're skating them. <laughs> That's making How much? Money. Yeah. <laughs> How much, dude? Let's check. Let's check in with the uh, YouTube real quick. Uh, it's Rashad. Hey, pronounce that for me, Kevin, because I'm so bad. It's Rashad. Rashad. Rashad yeah. I apologize. Thanks for pointing that out, though. Rashad Elliott. Nice. Um, JCG Chomp on Kicks is the best. Love the skate nostalgia. Sick. Hell yeah. Um, it's such a small world too, because. I'll run into people and they're like, oh, uh, I ran into some dude at Maddie Park and he was like, oh, I'm trying to get a pair of Reynolds twos. And I don't know how I just fall into like talking about shoes with people. Yeah. But like. Well, he likes shoes. Yeah. He he wants to find Reynolds twos. And I'm like, awesome. We meet, we shake. And then he's like, I just followed Chomp on Kicks. They might find it for me. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And he's on it, on the phone. He's like, yeah, they just posted this shoe. You're like. I'm like, yeah. Like I didn't I mean did. to drop my name, but I'm like, I can help you out. <laughs> like, I can send out, you know, we could send out on a story, like, he's looking for this shoe, and we have almost 18,000 followers. Damn, sick. So, it, you know, it gets some views. Yeah, and that's some awesome. people do come through. Yeah, that's Hell a rad yeah. thing to be able to do. Yeah. I wonder how many people get reunited. <laughs> it feels so good. Oh, man. Uh, Clay Griffin, the other <laughs> a- admin from, uh, I believe it's Virginia. I could be wrong. Sorry, Clay. But uh, there was a pair of Costin 3s with the Pac-Man on it nice. from Chomp on Kicks. And there was only... I, the video I was could, sick. Yeah, I could get this wrong, but there were like two or three samples ever made. And he had a, all three people that he knew had them. Nobody really wanted to sell it. He did eventually, through Chomp on Kicks, was able to find the pair Damn. from like Hawaii or something. He got it, though. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it must be a whole change of the internet so relevant, you know? It just, like, opens it all up. It opens it up so much, yeah. yeah. I, you know, we have friends from, like, Italy. Uh, our other admin, Adrian, is from Belgium. Well, that's it. So, yeah, it's just, international. like, international. Yeah, yeah chomp on kicks. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing to see, like, where these shoes go, too. Sometimes, yeah. like, mm-hmm. a lot of people from Germany are down with the skate scene. Yeah, Australia's, that's epic. Australia's huge. Circa travels a lot too. That's why they yeah. went on skate tours, man. That's why I loved it because the tours and the skaters and like then they traveled and like yeah, that's so sick. Yeah, like, where did that go? Like I, I bet they still do that, but like Circa, I'm, I'm not sure it's really yeah. taking care of that. Like, do we dare pull up their Instagram? Circa might as well. Just I wonder. I think they went under. Pull it off under the no, side. Well, Let's see. There Let's was see a lot of speculation. Him. Let's yeah. see who banned him. Dun, dun, dun. Companies get bought and sold, man, and then sometimes the person working is not even, like, they don't understand the history, or not saying that this yeah, is the yeah. case, but, like, things get, it's like, things grow big, and then they get bought and sold, man. Yeah, so Musk would DM me after he heard that I got blocked, and he was just saying that, five days ago. Yeah, I mean, they still post, they're still pretty relevant. Adrian Lopez, keep going, though, just scroll up, we don't need to click on everyone. They got a good skate photo, at least, some skate shoes, they got a Falper up there. Adrian Lopez. Is that James Rock? I wonder. Yeah. Nice. Does it what's the caption? Anything good? Uh, oh just his name. Nice. Maybe they're rebuilding. Yeah. I know yeah, Fallen I, is. I right hope now. they do. Yeah, Fallen's rebuilding. That's really cool. Yeah. They made the Patriot, which was pretty big back then. Yeah. And uh <clears throat> Circa, you if you click on a lot of the comments, it's like people are just asking for like one tech shoe. Yeah. Or one like cup sole that's that's fairly decent. Like an actual but, skate shoe. Yeah, yeah, and I I try defending them too a lot, and it's like it's funny you say that because literally the first comment on this video. Bring back some of the old shoes, <laughs> old, old school skate shoes. 
Yeah, but you don't want to only bring back the bring back. That's why I was asking in the beginning. I was like, how do you feel about the reissues? Because it's like, sometimes people have run that shit into the ground. You're like, just let that live. Let that, like, yeah, sometimes, exactly. Sometimes, dude. I, I feel that... Um, you got to build the new, but preserve the past, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, like when, when I see comments on there saying, like, bring, bring back the old shoes, or I'll say something like, at least make some tech shoe. A lot of people jump on me saying, like, they're never going to make a big bulky puppy why? shoe. Why? What the Get fuck it? is the stereotypes of shoes now? Is it, because I know they always say it's, like, to make a bunch of money, but, dude, these are made to make a sick skate shoe for a pro skateboarder that probably had input into it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And they were, like, designing something together and, like... A little bit of impact resistance, a little yeah. bit of ollie protection. Like, yeah. That's what we asked for. It wasn't like, slim it all down just to sell, be able to sell it into, like, whatever, wherever, to yeah. do whatever, you know? It's, uh, like, make a skate shoe. I don't make the complaint that shoes should still be this big. I just say, like... <laughs> Throw throw some some technical cup sole model yeah. out there yeah, and yeah. see how it does. You know, it can't just all be like paper thin bulk. Yeah. Like tissue boxes. Yeah. You just slip on some of those. It destroys your feet, bro. Yeah. And one too much of one thing sucks. Have you ever yeah, skated yeah. any of like the AL fifty? How long have they been making the Lopez fifty? Oh yeah. Which is a really good shoe. Yeah. But it's like if every other post is gonna be the a new color colorway of the AL fifty is like that's two thousand seven. Yeah, that colorway yeah. was out. It's not a new colorway. It can't be the only thing you rely on. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep going. Dude. It's a great shoe, and Adrian's cool shit too. Like I, I talked to him through direct message. Legend. Yeah. Definitely a sick backside. I mean, sick a bunch of shit. Back lips, <laughs> back fifties. Dude, he had all the backside tricks. <laughs> backside four back five oh. Yeah, back five oh is so yeah. good. He made you want to do him because he did him like so well, and he's yeah. small and like. Could take a lot of impact and just, and just like him. scooping Crazy. the board. Yeah, his, quick, his fast. Cast. Like, yeah, he had good lines. Mm. Such a legend, dude. For sure. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Bring us down the line. I know you got more. Oh man, so this is this Chad Muska's second model on Circa. Wow, brave. Tongue got brave. a little bigger. Yeah, <laughs> tongue got a little bigger. Uh, you know, PVC plastic on the sides. A right whole there. lot, a whole lot, bro. Lateral and medial sides, it's just like all plastic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of sneakerheads would, would know what Jordan... That's uh, actually leather, that, though, right? That's yeah, it's, it's like piece. synthetic. Synthetic leather. Yeah, but um, I think I think this tongue is a lot pretty synonymous with an Air Max. I don't know if you're a sneakerhead. Not really. But they had that fade in the reflections right there. Air Max would be a Nike shoe? Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Still got the stash pocket there. Yeah. I remember this shoe. That one you can so fully open right there. there. Dude, that looks like a mouth. You could hunt that <laughs> shoe if you wanted. Don't get any ideas, but if you want, oh, you can shit, fuck man. that. You can fuck that pad. I that hope top. we never go back to that topic. <laughs> Don't tell any 12 year olds. Scarred by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can so try to put some petroleum jelly in that thing. <laughs> no, no serious note. Pocket it's, pussy. It's, uh, it's pretty concealed. <laughs> What's that? It's pretty concealed. So, like, it's pretty hard to make out you know that's yeah. a pocket i mean it's a good looking shoe let me see if we got oh yeah like i like the way this looks dude that's this my... is like more basketball look to me yeah. like yeah but like this would be good to chill in and like play basketball in and i bet you could skate in it but you're limited it's probably got no, so not a lot of feel like yeah. right here look how much is on the toe cap or, or like where you would ollie and stuff all that yeah so i do have to make a correction there he did have a second shoe uh, this is probably his third shoe that came out like, oh, right after. Okay. I don't have the second shoe with me because unfortunately it's it's crumbling in a box right now. Yeah. That foam really like over time, over so many years, just gets drier. Yeah. And just falls apart. Yeah, it doesn't. But last. I don't really touch it, so I keep it in there. Um, you know, third into the fourth shoe right here is the CM eight hundred two. Yeah, a lot of them came in camo, which is pretty sick. But this one's fairly light. I mean, you could probably rip that. You could skate these this. days. You could skate that. Yeah. See, the thing about these shoes is like this whole thing has to break in before you even get to that. Yeah, yeah. But like once you get through this, the art oh, is gonna be so for like a few, you know, yeah. a few. That is like so deep in. I feel like yeah, the, the, the sole. Yeah. The skate too. It's like you don't even feel the middle of your foot. Like. Yeah, it's super high arch on a lot of the shoes, and that was back in the day where they give you a little baggie of like an arch support and you yeah. slip it in. Yeah. If you had a high arch, I remember. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I remember that. Um, these though, if you get through this part and once you break these in though, you're like hucking it's awesome. for days. Oh, yeah. You got like more padding, everything, your joints feel better, all and that stuff. The camo, nobody 
you can't nobody can see you. Yeah, you know, or they just, can't see your feet. They don't see that you have shoes on. <laughs> nice camo joke. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> so I got this pair. When I already I, talked about the pocket pussy on the shoe, <laughs> which is amazing. Going back to that, man. Yeah, go back to that no, shoe because it's so don't. tempting. It looks. Dude. I want to put my hand in it. <laughs> oh my god. No, I like this on the back. The loops on the, the back. Pull strap. So nice pull strap. I love that. <laughs> Those things are probably so good just to chill in. Yeah, it's just good chillers. I mean, yeah. They look great. But you, you can't can wear skate. skinny jeans with them. So. No. That might be the problem, right? <laughs> they haven't gotten the skinny jeans. Yeah. Oh, Weird. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but this pair I got when I met Muska. I need to have a pair. side pipe Damn. at all time, bro. So, yeah. Skinny I, jeans. I met Muska on the roof of a Home Depot in Hollywood. Wow. It was pretty surreal. because When you said that, holding that shoe, it all made sense oh, for God. some reason. Yeah, he's, he's my Michael Jordan. Dude. <laughs> yeah. um, this one is badass, man. Yeah, I, I went and stayed in Long Beach for a vacation. And I texted him because I wanted to know the location of his uh, ledgy lip slid in yeah. Fulfill the Dream. Yeah. And he gave me the general location. Me and my friend Matt, we found that location. I got the same angle of the shot. Damn. And he was like, dude, no one's ever done that. That's sick. He's like, I'm going to be... Uh, in Hollywood on Thursday at Home Depot if you want to just like you know catch up I was like hell yeah you know get something signed that's super specific yeah was he, he, <laughs> it, it, art, art supplies oh okay that, like, concrete, <laughs> concrete and shit and it was like he was in his element cause like he was just getting art shit and I saw a couple circle boxes in a car yeah but I was busy skating with my friend I was like he's probably not gonna be out yet so I didn't land a trick and it was like a hot day in California so the, the roof on the Home Depot is a parking garage it was like soft so i stuck and i saw him i was like oh shit so i didn't have a chance to get nervous yeah it's like oh what's going on it's like mr chambon kicks that's you right <laughs> damn he like, knew you oh god like yeah yeah my michael jordan so he You're just like, started like, calm down calm down yeah <laughs> i've done that i do fan out moments when i see someone that i've like never met but i'm like stoked on him yeah I, I, it's not like I'm a root or anything, but like Costin, when I saw him, because I skated his shoe a whole bunch, I, I was like, damn, what's up, yeah, Costin? Like, I, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. As long as you're not Great. like, send me your underwear. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Dude, that's so crazy. You saw Musket in, at Home Depot. And then this guy. Yeah. It, it, he just started handing me pairs, and I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Like, here you go. He's like, no, man, take it. Oh, oh really? Like, some people pros do know what they have on their hands. If there's like one off shoes, yeah, like they will sell them for a good price and like, you know that that's not a bad thing. But for him to just give that, yeah, that's, pretty that's sick. wild. To have this and to just be like, here you go. A gold, yeah, a gold eight hundred two, probably two ever made. This might be the sickest yeah. one so far, besides that Costa one, because I just yeah. like skating in those. Yeah, this is a beautiful shoe. Too, I had too many miles in those things. Too many miles? Yeah. Yeah, PJ Ladd skated these a lot, too. Yeah. Like, those, horrible life. The black and gray ones. There's yes. a bunch of Arto colors. skated that. Yeah, oh. Arto, yeah. So good. Yeah, this one's so epic. Do you ever just put these on? Like, walk no, around your house? No. Like, I, I don't do that. Like, a lot of people do ask me, like, hey, do you want to meet up so I can try on your shoes? It's... It's fucking weird. Yeah, that's weird, but I'm like, dude. Not even I put on these shoes. Any know? chicks into these shoes? Probably not. Huh? No, there there are some There's that some. like the style, and they're like, "Oh, what size do you have?" And it's like, "Well, anything from nine to ten and a half." So it's it's already like, you know, yeah. they can't buy them. But yeah, yeah. Um, that's true. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, Way they're, they're kind of big. Yeah, even, yeah. even the the nines. Some of these nines, they feel like they run small, but a lot of people will just take the insoles out or like wear thin socks. They're so bulky that you can get away with it. Yeah, so definitely you can get your feet in there, and it's crazy. Keep going, let's go some more, some more. <laughs> Give me those black uh, ones. What are black, black ones? These Muska also gave me. These are the CM three hundred two. Damn, he gave you both those. Yeah, I have three pair. He gave me three. Damn, these so, ones uh, are like getting closer back to Costin. Yeah, more traditional. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan you know, for sure. Um, these do have the pocket. I do get in a lot of, um, you know, not arguments, but people will try debating with me. Try and tell me which models had the pocket and which models don't. And I believe they're just not looking hard enough because on the inboard part of the shoe, you could feel a little piece of Velcro. And if you if you press hard enough and, and tear away, you will open the pocket. It's just really, really concealed. It's a lot more concealed than those. Damn, it's like deep in yeah. the side bridge. You can feel the Velcro right here. Let me see real quick. Pretty deep. Put the mic down. Bam! Mic's going down, boys. Lefty, that was switch. Wait, so it's on the side of it or down the side of the tongue, you're saying? Right near the, uh, 
The centering strap. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it's well, above the centering strap. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Wow, you, <laughs> I knew you'd get me inside the shoes somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that one's sick. Yeah, it's, it's, He's like, oh, no, finger no. in my shoe, bro. <laughs> Got a new hobby. Grow up. Child. Oh, what Children. was the year on this? Dude, that one's insane, man. This doesn't have the date code on it, but this is... Um, they were about not ruining your ollies yeah. or kick loops. Like, you had so much reinforcements. Mm-hmm. This kind of reminds me of Castell. From Go- yeah, yeah, Go- definitely. Shoe, right? yep, yeah, Castell. Um, this shoe is one of the first CX models. It's the CX602. And it, it kind of, like, reminds me of an action a little bit. And, like you said, a Castell. Um, oh, action, too. I forgot yeah, about action. Yeah, this yeah. colorway... It, I mean, the designer says, you know, it wasn't inspired by action, but, like, the, what was that, the Mariano that was yeah, this color? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, and that's like, crazy that you said the action, because that's all I can see now, is that as an action back. shoe, yeah. So, Dream Camel, too. Yeah, dude, sick-ass skate shoe. Oh, take a break from the circus. That's fine. Yeah, You were hyped on audio earlier. Audio, dude. Jamie Thomas. You yeah. skated a lot of audios in fourth grade. Did you? Yeah. Do you remember the the model? No. Just whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just remember a big audio logo on the side. Yeah, that Dom Pierre model was great, too. Yeah, right? I've never come across that one, though, in the collecting scene. Pull. Hey, let's pull that up. Pull up. Here, I'll do it. No biggie. Oh, shit. Dom Pierre. Um, audio, right? Dude, do they have a photo of that shoe? Go to images. I forgot that he had an audio one. Yeah. That's so sick. That was, it had the Chevy bow tie on the tongue. No. You know, with the N and the D? Yeah. That oh, that's right. I it was definitely his idea. idea. God damn it. Um, yeah, this one was so sick. I like the colorway on this one. It's not, it is a white, all right? It's a white and then like a go. grayish. That what's that a dark navy almost? Yeah, that's a navy. And There's so many different materials on the shoes back in the yeah, day. It's yeah. insane. Like the quality in that right there. Right there, I that's it. I remember that shoe. Dude, that Don Pierre is fucking sick too, man. And yeah, that was thin enough, so like you Kevin, you, you'd probably rip in that, right? I mean, the I'd tongue is a little. Around. The tongue is a little bit. I'd skate big, that now. But... I would definitely skate that now. Yeah, just don't Rambo tie it. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's crazy how many different materials they used in shoes. Yeah. It's no one's that brave anymore. <laughs> that brave, yeah. <laughs> it's done well, though. It's like, like an actual shoe, $60 yeah. shoes. Jeez. But yeah, a lot of the early CX models, I was told from the designer, they take a lot of inspiration from the first uh, S Muska. Yeah. So, like, before he went up to Sarka, uh, they started implementing, like, this pull strap is from the S Muska. Yeah. And that, that huge, you know, all he... Fucking right there. Mm. Yeah, the people. It, how many pro models are here? Are these all pro models? Uh, not all of them. No, oh, no. So that this is a team model. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. Let's, let's go right here for me. Yeah, I asked you about that one because I could have swore you wore that. I would have wore this. I didn't get to skate this one though. Yeah. Etnies Arto. Yeah, I was Arto, riding the Arto one. S- yep, I was riding the S because we were getting all like hooked up by Soul Tech. I went on a skate trip. And it was like, P- I think it was Peter Ramondetta. Wait, maybe that was the deluxe one. But it was a Soul Tech trip where we went down to Florida. And literally everyone, Billy Marks was getting at knees. Oh, um, shit. Josh Harmony was on that trip. Leo Romero, myself, Nick, a whole bunch of people. And we all flow for Soul Tech. Uh, Soul Tech, yeah. yeah. And I always saw these. I was like, damn, these are so sick. I'd skate these now, too. Yeah, like I said, the tongues were a little bulky. That's something I'm into. So, like, if you had a thin enough shoe with kind of a bigger tongue, yeah, I that's what I like to skate. Once it gets a little thin, I just feel like, you know, I look down and I just have these like pointy toes. Yeah, and it's a little bit baggy your pants. So yeah, it's just not my style. Yeah, these do have a lot of padding up along. Yeah. like if I was gonna go from scratch, which I did, it's the not nearly as puffy as these. Yeah, so it's more suede, cup sole, simple, clean. This is the uh, the. Circa MA402, Mark Appleyard's first pro model. Hell yeah. That's that pretty sick. sick. Yeah, this pre- is an OG colorway as well. Mm. I recently got this one. But that tongue is wild. <laughs> it's fucking I'm huge. not sure if it was designed for this, but if you leave the shoe untied, the tongue just stays out by itself. It's like a magic Because tongue. it's yeah. kind of like a V. Yeah. You know what V reminds me of? I have no clue. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, this you can buy that too if you want, man. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, but let's go through this. We got some suede up here. We got mesh. Mesh, I guess. Yeah. I don't Synthetic know. nubot. This is if you rub that too hard, that ruins it. Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and this is suede. suede. Is Different nice. color suede. Nice, nice. Well, you gotta feel it. You're like, what the hell is that? I won't stroke it so much. <laughs> soles are sick, dude. Yeah, the soles are sick. So. The Circa logo came from the sole design right there. Yeah. Just with like little designs around it. So the same dude that did the Osiris logo did the Circa logo as well. Wow, really? Yeah. So Holy like, you shit. know, you got the middle sole part. Yeah. And then sense. just some lines on the side. Yeah. I haven't asked them, you know, what it, what it means or anything, but th that's where it comes from. That's crazy, man. Um, all right, let's go back to YouTube real quick to see what some people are saying. Uh, waiting for S Artos to be re-released. Re Here's my age. Anyone yeah, still has Artos. Yeah. Um. Here's my age. Anyone still have Duffs? Yes. Let me get those. Gustavo. If I go grab those. Sixty-three. You got some? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Gustavo. Gustavito. Six three zero zero seven. Solid call. Waiting for the S Artos to be re-released. -re yeah, I don't have those. Like, he I had a shoe on S. Yeah, yeah, I am. That's rough. Those are wild looking. Yeah. This is the Duffs. The Moses. Oh, we had head. Duffs, bro. Moses, one of the best Moses. front side nose slides yeah. ever. Multiple. He had so many good front nose slides. He fucked up front side nose slides. In these, dude. <laughs> Those are so like big. you'd ride like for like riding a dirt bike. Yeah. They're just so unique, man. Like, they look, are, I agree. <laughs> yeah. It's just like I, I admit it's a little wild, but like back in the day seeing this on an advertisement, like I had magazine um advertisements like all over my wall yeah and you know i'd have this one I'm like one day i'm gonna get that shoe never got the shoe like two months ago some dude had this for sale i was like i, I have to have it wow mainly because of this spot right here they yeah. had it in different colors damn it was like red and blue and stuff it's pretty wild. Oh, yeah, yeah that's pretty dope i like the lace protection yeah yeah, it's crazy how high the walls are yeah, on that yeah, one. I feel like it kind of keeps it from ripping so quick. Yeah, and the outsole, pretty simple. I like how it goes up the back. That's kind of sick. Yeah, you got like little runner toe right there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like a fake yeah. runner toe, but then you got the heel as yeah. well. It kind of wraps and holds the whole shoe, like the the whole thing is kind of yeah. protected in there. It's a wild. The fucking tongue though, it's just too much, man. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Just too much. All right, cool. Any more questions? <laughs> we'll keep going, man. Someone, Man in Black 710, says, Wicked Shoe Collection. I said yeah, it just like shoes. Hollywood. Wicked, guys. He you, also, can, you can tell where he's from. Yeah. He also said, Neen Williams was on Circa for a bit, but I believe they cut the team. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was a good move, Circa. Uh, <laughs> cut me as part of the team as well. Bastard. You're off. I hope not. I hope they have a skate team because that's their roots. That's where the brand Whoa. came from. You could have roots, bro. Ellington? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double E on the side, eh? That one's way sick. It's got the strat. It's like the Excel, but like beefed out a little. America, huh? Dude, you, you, yeah. know, you know your shit, Anthony. Yeah, that's unreleased right there. And, yeah. Uh, it's Ellington's third model. They didn't release before. No shit. Went. Yeah. So it has a strap like the XL. Everything's like the XL. Yeah, it's you can tell, man. Yeah, look how proper that is. That's like a really metal. good shoe. Metal, like actual metal. In the I had a, a kind of snakeskin Ellingtons that I like Ooh. shouldn't have skated that I skated. Snakeskin Ellingtons. Yeah. Oh, no. Was it? That I don't know. Like I remember my buddy Brian got them at Woodward Camp Woodward, and he he brought them back, and they, he didn't want to skate them, so I skated them. That's wild. <laughs> yeah. I have a fit, pair of snakeskin uh, muskets around somewhere right oh, there, no shit. right All there right. in front of you. These ones right here. Yep. No shit, that snakeskin? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's leather. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. That's like a yeah. running shit inspired for sure, right? Yeah. Air so, Max. Air Max. Air 30 Max. PSI. Dude, 30 PSI. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. It's like your legs. I don't know how many PSI. <laughs> <laughs> Pound square inch? Uh, yeah. Pressure yeah. or something? I don't know. You got it. Yeah. This one actually it tells you looks exactly pretty proper pounds. top down. Mm -hmm. that like, that'd be like a good one to look down at, though. You know what Definitely. I mean? When you're skiing. Yeah. yeah. From the side, it looks like kind of wedge shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange, man. So yeah, I got this one from Ellington as well. That one's so sick. Me meeting him was awesome. Er Eric's a wicked cool dude. dude. Like th this one was never released as well because of its crazy ass colorway. Yeah, but those <laughs> ones also <laughs> awesome. released. I have to have it. Like everyone's like, ah, oh, that's kind of girly. It's it's kind of stupid. But I'm like, 
No. But I, I have it, man. They have red, white, and blue ones out, and everyone loved those. But yeah. it's like, this one's sick. Yeah, dude. And this one, I like I like that it's girly, dude. I could imagine Louis Barletta skating in this. Yes. Yeah. He had such a... What's <laughs> I could imagine Louis Barletta skating Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, America as well, right? Oh, I have Louis? no idea, honestly. Louis, Louis? No. He's right for Duffs. Duffs? Duffs, then... Um, 88? 88? Dude, I think oh, I, I forgot about that brand. Chris Markovich, I think. Oh, um, yeah, Chris Markovich's fucking sh- shoe company, though. Yeah, yeah. He wrote for Duff's too. I'm uh, yeah, I don't know. My my history on that's like super bad. The, I think he's getting Converse now. Dude, that shoe is way sick though. I like that. It's kind of girly with those colors. I like like bright colors like that sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> Ellington always try doing something, you know, just like out of the ordinary, which yeah. is something I, I I was super into because like you can't always just like. Do what? I don't know. You can always just do what sells. You gotta like stick out a little bit. He was. Yeah, you gotta try. He was pretty firm really on different. only wanting metal, metal emblems. You know, yeah. on the shoe. He just thought that was super cool. Yeah, this one's sick, man. This is beefed up though. Oh yeah, yeah that's a sample. So it's like really good to have a shoe that never came out. Some people, they don't value samples as much as like production yeah. shoes. I think that's well, really I, cool. I'd rather have yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like it came out. If you're yeah. collecting it, yeah, for sure. This makes it way cooler. With that little tag to it, it's gnarly. Yeah. Show what factory and stuff. Yeah, this one, this one, and the other one. That one, that one made me feel some sort of way. The costume <laughs> this one, one made you feel some sort it of did. way. It did. The costume one did yeah. it. And then this one, just because it's different, it's like, I like that it's it's out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the camera. Is that cool? Please do. Get in yeah. close if you want. Give them a little run up. So like, these other people are special, see. man. Yeah, dude. I agree. Those ones are solid, man. He's like, still shredding, that too. Like? Legendary. Oh, hold on. Top two, too. You know, I like the insertion spot. Oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm that looks good. perfect. <laughs> oh. Damn, that looks really nice. You can see him pretty good on the, on the YouTube video. Yeah. All these ones down in front, you can see him like... They look yeah, sick. Yeah. But dude, definitely get close. Give him some close more. Because that looks so sick too. Pull up the costume one too. Give him that one. Yeah. That pull get get that one up close. Yeah, way sick. Dude. Let's go back to YouTube real quick. Um He says, I used to have the JT two oh fours. That's Joe J C G. Yeah, I don't have any two oh fours right now, but I have eight oh ones and three oh ones. Thomas? That? Yeah. You want to pull out some Thomas, yeah, too? Thanks. Course. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's the man. You're the man. A garage Day collection. Yeah. His Instagram. He sells a lot of his stuff, so that's it's cool to see him doing that. Hell yeah. Wheel says, what's good, boys? Sending good vibes from the edge. Hell yeah. Shout out. <laughs> Skip Ad says, the Excel from S is super solid. Haven't had any problems with heel bruises since I started wearing them three years ago. Hell yeah. That's what you're shirt. wearing right now, right? Yeah, yeah, he's wearing Excels right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a pair go. in the room. This guy's got oh, every shit. shoe. Matt's got every skate shoe. You Dude. can imagine. So, well, look at that Excels, there. right? These are, these are J- Jamie, Jamie Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, Jamie uh, 301. It's crazy to think that Jamie Thomas... I was just going to say, I can't imagine him, like, imagine him nowadays wearing these. Must I know, <laughs> I know, I know. You can, you can... Crazy. It did that like the evolution of what let me see this pair. Like how close are those? These are way bigger though. <laughs> These are sick. I forgot James Thomas too wrote for circa. Yeah, those that black and red, that's kinda like Jordan. If you thin these down a little bit, you could skate these today. Yeah, those are sick. Maybe, I don't know. It's kinda wild right here. Yeah, they use so many materials. Like, yeah, this is like seatbelt material. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a life yeah, vest. Yeah, like I'm going to nerd out a little bit. I like too. this one. It's like car interiors. Give us a rundown. Give us a rundown. Give us a So this CM503 right here is also a sample. And uh, this was the production model right here. It's pretty rare. But on a lot of the samples, they use this, like like you said, seatbelt material yeah. right here. And in the in the tongue right here, this whole tongue is like an entire footbed. Yeah, that's way sick. And that's on the production bad. ones, they just made it this uh this dense mesh right here. And this is like a fine weave mesh. Yeah. Yeah. Way uh, sick. Let me get a little feel of it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, but that that's the entire <laughs> shoot is a sock. You know? Yeah. That's crazy. It'll probably feels so good on the foot. Yeah. Hold so, me in there nice. For the dude that was asking about Jamie Thomas, I'm gonna Hell yeah. put this up there. Definitely. 
Um, that's a good looking so, um, shoe. So, two years ago, you ever get the Jeff Raleigh Vans, or I think he had Airwalks? Did Jeff Raleigh ride for Yeah. Maybe. Uh, I don't have an Airwalk for a while. Pretty positive. Dude, I forgot. Airwalk had Andy McDonald. I thought yeah, they still had him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. They might still have him on the team. Um, no, nah, I never had any Jeff Raleigh shoes. Did you ever skate Vans? I didn't skate any Vans, but he did have a few models out there that were like comparable to these. They were puffy. They were. A lot of impact support. No shit. Yeah, a lot of collectors go crazy for those too. Um, some dude talking about um, Excels on the chat. Yeah. Yeah. I have two. Oh, yeah, two special ones right here. All right. Uh, these are the fa the fancy box ones. Yeah, fancy box ones. This is a uh, the ten year anniversary box. They sold at Acton Miller, I guess Christmas time. So you got the ten year. You open it up. Wow. Like little, little satin, you know, satin insets. A little coffin inside. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I oh, might hump shit, this thing. Look at that. That's <laughs> a, like, I could hump that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Little spot for the laces. What? That's way sick, dude. Yeah. So yeah. They're uh, they're like garment leather, so they're premium. You know, they're not like that production leather that would just be like synthetic. Yeah. Uh, second excels right here are these are pretty recent. These are the these are the reissues, but they're from Japan. They are the beams excels. So if you check out the paneling on that, they're different colors. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Orange emblems, which yeah. is like not really something S has. It's usually the red. Yeah, that's yeah. way dope. Yeah. So you got orange insoles. Nice. That's kind of crazy that they did two different colors. Yes, yeah, two different colors. I'll go show the camera. That's awesome. That's a wild one. Dude, the fancy box is amazing. Dude, I wonder how many they made of those with the yeah. box. Yeah. Because that's like a full thing, man. Right? <laughs> that's a good shot. Double shoe. That's so wild with the two colors. You think they just messed up and were like, let's turn it into a special edition one? Back <laughs> I don't know. They just screwed it up. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> the box is on. Some work was fired and they just capitalized on their <laughs> mistake. Negative to positive. They're rare. <laughs> yeah, some people will DM me saying that they have that model, but it's really the they're just the domestic shoe. Yes. Yeah. It's just like all gray. So I'm like, well, that shoe's got different panel. And they're like, yeah, I've got it. Like, well, if you look at the left and right, they're the same. And that's asymmetrical, you know? It's like not yeah. one pair is the same. Yeah, it's so like you gotta, if you don't see it at first, you gotta yeah. see it. Which yeah, which I understand. I understand their uh, mix up right there. But you ain't got these. That's what he's trying to say. What he's trying to say. <laughs> Saran, bro. Uh, how do you guys feel about um, skate focused companies making running, jogging shoes? For example, I think Lakai now makes a jogger. I believe it's jogger. I, I have no feelings about that. <laughs> like, I, I don't really care about, um, like, running shoes in the skate shoe market. Like, when S came back in 2015, I think, they tried to make, they tried to do that. They had, like, a little jogger shoe. It just didn't do so well. But, I mean, if, I know DC kind of dabbles into that, too, but I, I don't even touch that. Like, it's just tr strictly skate shoes. Yeah. Circa tried that. It just feels, it feels like cheaper quality when you have a skate shoe brand do that. It just, like, doesn't feel the same as, say, like, a Nike. Yeah. I don't know. I feel I feel a little... I feel conflicted because I'm like, it's your shoes, you know? It's a shoe company. Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, if you have to, like... If you make a jogger, but you gotta... Someone's gotta be passionate about it and design it with the same fire as they design these, you know? Yeah, like, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. like, they're, they're carrying the fire, you know? Yeah. And you gotta have some skate influence in it. And uh, if Lakai makes a jogger... But a lot of people are asking for reissues. Their argument is a shoe mold takes a lot of money to make. So like the mold, the mold they use to injection mold this sole is like the price of a car. So if they're just making joggers and they're not really focusing on the skate shoes because it's too expensive to make a shoe mold to make a reissue, it's like where where are your priorities? Like if yeah. you don't want to be in skateboarding or do you? Yeah. But, I mean, Lakai's pretty di diverse. They're doing pretty awesome. I, they I have a lot of good skate shoes. Mm. First and foremost, you got to protect your roots. So, if you started as a skate brand, don't give up on the skate side of things because that's where the fire comes from. Yeah. Can you I, can't lose that. You I'm going to bring out some Lakai's right now. Please do. Please please do. Topic. I, I used to ride for Lakai when I rode for Birdhouse. And shout out oh. Kelly Bird. Good looks. 
And he used to send me like royalty checks too. It was sick, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like money skating where I'm like, so. Kelly Bird's like man. The unofficial Brandon Beeble pro, pro model right here. Wow. Unofficial? Yeah, it was yeah. just <laughs> NYLA. Yeah, man. But yeah, he, he wore that a lot. I think Chomp on Kicks. Uh, I mean, Chomp on this, he wore that a lot and uh, like a lot of tour videos. Yeah, this one's sick, man. I like the whole, the all white. You can see it's kind of changing colors. Yeah, little. yeah, that's the adhesive too coming out. Yeah, you can see wow. it. Right that's so wild. I mean, I'll show. So you yeah. think, so like, you think everything's slimmed up because they're just trying to make more money? Is it just easier for moles to make like bands and like small, like thin shoes like that? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a little bit cheaper. And I mean, them. you have to face it, like, they are lighter. So, yeah. I mean, if, if kids can shred in them and shred a lot better than bulky shoes, that's good. But um, yeah. right around the recession, you just started to see the quality just kind of decline. Yeah. And some, some companies made very quality shoes. They just had to, you know, thin it out quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, gnarly. This is, this is insane, though, like, for sure. This is crazy that skating got to this point where these dudes had these pro models and were able to have this much input and like do it themselves. Like Lakai skater on skater run. I don't know how circus started. Do I? That was was the only who started circus from the beginning. Chad Muska. Was it the Muska? Is the first yeah. one? I don't know the exact story, and people are probably gonna be like, "Oh man, you're such a circus head, and you don't know." But it was <laughs> it was circus. Magic, bro. Yeah, circus and a couple designers got together, and um, yeah, they just had circus. Uh, Chad as the first pro, and then they just st started signing more people. Damn. So they started in skateboarding? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's amazing. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, like, but someone said there there was one designer that was like, you know, it was like surf inspired as well. Yeah. But it's not like a K2 brand. Yeah, yeah. Where, uh, what was it, Audio was like part K2. Yeah. It was like a subsidiary or whatever. Well, companies get bought and sold, and then they're just like, they need to employ the right people at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They need to employ, employ the people with the fire so that the brand carries on its legacy, you know? Like, yeah. But or, some just get bought and sold. And then, like, there was, like, New York recently. I, they, like, cut, like maybe six months back or whatever, they, like, Instagram. You could tell someone who didn't skate was running their Instagram because it was just, like, someone learned it in a social media class and was posting all this shit. You're like, dude, well, this is not escape. This yeah. Is, well, it's probably, like, some weird angles and Some shit. weird at Macy's. Yeah, yeah, you know, like some more at Macy's that's just like signed on, on yeah. Instagram. It was kind of disheartening because I'm like, oh, it's such a legacy with yeah. New York, you know, like someone who skates should be involved with that brand always, mm -hmm. you know. I wonder if Chaz Ortiz still is. He's not. He's not. No. Do they have anyone? I looked recently. No. <laughs> Chaz is like commenting on their posts. Like, what is this trash? Really? Yeah. No. Yeah, what? Dead serious. Dead serious. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Shoe beef, bro. Yeah. Shoe beef. Bro, no, he's like saying like, uh, this is gross. Like, it, cause it's just, dude. It, well, it was. It over and dude, like, for like that week, it was, I don't know, I don't know how, I, don't, I haven't been there in a while. I literally, I literally just checked in on that like the other day. <laughs> Wait, we're pulling that up then. What is it? Just do the Just Instagram? go to, yeah, go to New York's Instagram. Maybe you should acquire them. <laughs> Not a bad idea, dude. <laughs> I love New York. I love What's skating up? for New York. I loved the team oh, at the time. The Instagram was And, cool. like, we had sick people working there. It was skateboarders doing it. I'm going to say what's up to the Trump on Kicks followers. Please do. On my phone right now. So you are oh, the York official. That's Thanks. Turns, so. It was some of the best times of my life. Dude. I got to travel, go international. We had a huge skate team and program. Yeah, dude, straight up. He did say terrible. <laughs> that's funny. Gosh. But I get it, dude. That was Yo, like what's up, Trump followers? Right. Choo, choo, choo. Hell yeah. What up, boys? Um, but yeah, they just told me. Here with like, Anthony Shetler from the Shetler Show podcast. Hell yeah. Thanks what for up? tuning in. Choo, choo, choo. Is that even him? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your company? So <laughs> shut it down gracefully. This shit shits on the history of New York. Yeah, that's what pisses it off. Is like, like they need to like do something else or they need a skateboarder in charge yeah. of that brand if you're gonna do it. This is the la I think you got this at least sport. The last thing they posted to Chaz. Is this him sitting down? July twenty third, two thousand eighteen. Skate it started as a skate brand. It's like Yeah. What the hell is this? Sick brand though. It was. A lot of history, man. Damn, what's that one? Was it the same one that has a red toe right there? Wow, the and white. CM503, white and gum. Dude, that's such an ill colorway. 
damn, with the gum. Wow. It's classy, right? Yeah, dude. Way sick. They didn't go That's too crazy so on the materials. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> we want holes in yeah, the holes. Yeah, it chilled out. <laughs> Preferring everything. Yeah. Holes everywhere. Dude, that's, that whole, yeah. this whole thing is like, this whole sock. That looks sock like is the, such a good uh, idea. This is like what's coming out for shoes now. Yeah. It's just this inside, and then like a yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like if you could just take that's, this yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. that's going to be the, the upper of your shoe. It's just a sock. Yeah. <laughs> with a bulk. Yeah. yeah. Dude, crazy. <laughs> and give us the memory. Is it Apple Yard? Yep, this is a MA402, the same one that's over there in red and gray. And that's navy and like an off white? It, it's black. Oh, black. It does look it? navy. A little bit. But that, that shoe's like the sport car of the circus. That <laughs> thing is sick. Dude, this reminds me of a globe almost. With just like the front in this mm. kind of globe. Remember Globe too? Yeah, yeah. Massive. Globe is still doing it, like we issues. And stuff. I see him That's at pretty cool. seen him at Surf Expo, and like uh, I didn't see any skating, but they just had like a booth, and then we went by and like walked, looked at all the shoes. Yeah. 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 No one said hi to us though. <laughs> <laughs> but we were just kind of in and out. At Surf Expo, we walked around to all the like shoe companies and just kind of checked them out to see what was out there. Tom's was a crazy one because you could take a virtual tour to where they donate Tom's, the money. Yeah. yeah, you buy shoes and then they give the money towards like um, a charitable cause. Nice. And nice. you could go to like the actual village where they were helping helping out and like walk through with this like virtual headset. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty well. You want to go through? What do we got? We got a bunch up there. Oh, shit, yeah. I think we made it to here. Look how yeah, we were. Chiller shoes. Dude, the Raleigh X. LTs SLT, yep. were so dope. I had at least three pairs. That's John C. G. Stash like Selig. Any sheep? D three. I had sheep. That was one of the first pairs of shoes I bought. That was Solstice. Yeah, that was one of my third. I don't. I don't know. It was like probably my second pair. I think my first pair of shoes was this Costin. It was black and lime green. So like all the stitching was lime green, but the whole shoe was black. Damn, I don't so, even know if I saw lime green. Yeah, being a uh, 12, 12 or 13, I'm like, oh, that's a cute shoe. Yeah. So, like, I, I ripped that one up. <laughs> nice. You got to shred those ones. Yeah. And then I had the Sheeps for my second second pair, probably. I had a cream pair of Sheeps. Yeah. Best. I think they were Temple pairs. One of these is asking about uh, if you got any Sheeps. Yeah. No. Nah, any Sheeps. No, nah, I don't. D3. We do post that on Chomp on Kicks a lot. We do get a lot of people, users with, like, Sheep shoes. Yeah. Didn't Jankum, like, burn a pair pretty recently? <laughs> No, no. I want to say they burned a pair. Like Probably. on their story, they were like, uh, "If someone doesn't buy these, we're gonna burn them." And then no wow. bought them or something. So they burned Jesus. them. I wish I saw something like that. How much? It was like how a bidding. Oh shit! I wish I could remember how they did it. I would have bought them, bro. Yeah. Or no, I mean, someone might have bid high enough, and they just burned them anyways. So I don't know. Yeah, Jen Jenkum's funny shit. Yeah, I got contacted amazing. by uh, Alexis at Jenkum. Okay. He's a pretty cool dude. He wants to feature us. Nice. On Jenkum, so you we do it. No, we did. We filmed oh, a couple yeah. clips. We're, we're right now in the stage of like edit, editing and like putting it all together. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. yeah sick. 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 Looking forward to that, yeah. dude. Shout out. Hell yeah. Those guys are the men. Yeah, the Barracks DM'd us. I'm pretty sure it was Steve Barrett. He said like, love what you guys are doing. And that, that's sick. just really cool. Like, you hit 18,000 followers and then you start getting messages like that. It's like, yeah. it's validating your hobby a little bit. Hell like, yeah. all right, this isn't just like, you know, yeah. like a little kid thing. Right, you know? right. Yeah, it's crazy it's like to think that you probably feel that. It's beyond just, like, collecting. <laughs> I'm the same way, dude. I used to, that? like, I like skateboarding so much, no matter how, how old I am. Yeah, fuck It's yeah. weird that you would have to feel, like, embarrassed to be stoked on skating and, like, yeah. skate culture. I know stuff. I nerd out about, like, certain things, like, oh, the aftercade they used here, but it's, like, it, it just brings it all back for me. Because I, I was never, like, amazing at skateboarding. I had my ups and downs. Yeah. But I was always, like... A skate nerd, like I was really, really like skateboarding. Like I was a fan. Yeah, that's epic. I remember meeting Me too. you. Um, you and Nick Don Pierre, you were filming. I think Nick threw his board in the water, and you jumped in, or like maybe it's the opposite. Nick yeah. jumped into the water. Something happened where the board went over. Was it at the down at the pier? Yeah, yeah. Dude, no. All right, you were there. Then? Yeah, you taught me how to kickflip. Dude, but, like, that's you true. guys just skated by, and I was like, holy shit! Like, I, like somebody told me later on who you dudes were, and I was like. That's pretty awesome. That dude's jumping into the water. Disgusting. That's bad water. What yes. do you do now? That's really bad. Dude, all right, you want the story? Yeah, I do want You're the story. You were already there. I'll bring it back. I told that story on the podcast a few times. Yeah? I didn't know. That was so sick. I was there, yeah. Tim we Rio. Just skating. It was me and Tim Rio, I believe, and his board went in, and then I told him 
to get it. I'm like, dude, that's sinking down the bottom. You know what I mean? It had bones. Yeah, it did. That's why you wanted it? it? All right. Well, I just wanted it because it's skate parts, you know? It's yeah. like hard to come by. Young, not that much money. Yeah, yeah. Fucking <laughs> figure it out. I used to take boards from the trash at Solstice. They'd throw out like their chipped up ones, you know? And but they weren't broke. Them. Yeah. Skate them. Go by the trash. See some boards there. Swoop them up. Go skate them, you know? Yeah. Figure they were giving them out. They're in the trash, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, board went in. And it's down in New Bedford, and this is the docks where all the boats come in. So just imagine the oil and disgustingness. Like, it's not safe to go in that mm-hmm. water. No. Probably shouldn't do that. But d- young, dumb, probably was skating hot. Yeah. Board goes in, dude. I told him, like, you got to get that, dude. It's a brand new board. Like, that's hours of skating, you know? Yeah. And uh, he wasn't down. <laughs> so, so I just fucking went in. Oh, and God. I swung, I swam down, and I didn't get it on the first dive. Came back up, and I'm like, I want to go down one more time. Boom! Go all the way down, and I didn't want to open my eyes, because it's fucking disgusting yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. It's like the number one whaling port or whatever. Oh, man. Oh, it's right so down, gnarly. Right yeah. I went down, swung down for a bit, <laughs> with my eyes shut, and just felt around, and I found a truck to pull that bitch up. Nice. Yeah. Was it on it? Oh, well, you Told him if I got it, I could keep it. That was the deal. All right, and he's like, whatever. Yeah, he's like, I was like, dude, if you're not going to get it, I'm going to get it and keep it, though. He's like, yeah, if you get it. Yeah, I think wow. you guys had just come from that, like, janky-ass, um, it was, like, this thin, uh, like, grate yeah. with these, like, uh, lo- you guys were, like, 50-50 in it or something, and it was, like, really, really thin, and I just, that was the first time I could, un- like, try to understand how the surface area of your trucks are 50 50 something that's, like, super thin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, Seems my God, there's sketchy. grind marks. <laughs> yeah, and at the time, it was, like, up to my waist. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> There was another time, too, at the docks where I was just looking down there, and I saw a board down there, just because it was a sunny day, and I could, like, see through, and I saw, like, the truck or something. <laughs> just shining? Yeah, yeah, I swear, I was, like, no, awesome. looking in there, I saw something, and I was like, that looks like a board. I went on one of the boats, and I took one of their long, like, sticks with the hooks, and I fished the board out, and it had, like, barnacles on it and shit. And uh, I savaged the bearings, though. The bearings lasted forever. That's and they were soaked God. in salt water. So I don't know how, yeah. how that makes sense. But <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that day I came up, I was like, fuck yeah. You shit, bro. Yeah, that was Tim. I was like, Tim, just go. But he didn't care because his parents bought it for him. Yeah. So Probably. Like, he was like, yeah, I'll just get another one. I'll do some more chores or something. And me, I was son. just like, we fucking need that thing. Yeah. So for, for me, though, we weren't. Like, we weren't so wealthy growing up, so getting a complete in, like, a pair of Chad Muska sh- shoes yeah. that retailed, what, like, what, 130 So expensive. At that time? Yeah. It was, like, I was super grateful, but my parents would go away, and I'd see them under the Christmas tree. You know, 12-year-old me would take a razor blade and, like, slowly open it, and I'd just go fucking skate. Really? And then I'd come back, put it back, put the tape on. <laughs> oh, my and then, Are you kidding? Uh, when I took it out Christmas morning, I'd try to hide the wheels, because, like, you know how the little, uh... You know, like the chamfered edge on the the wheels ha- would have the little lines. Yeah, but like those were gone. gone they yeah. were dirty. And the shoe was kind of war- like you know you'd see the little wear. It's like so oh, funny. they must have tested it. Yeah, they they were like yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No, you did. I was yeah, I was ripping it. You were fucking MacGyver with that. That's man. Amazing. Yeah, you gotta do it a certain way so the tape doesn't rip the yeah the paper. Makes sense. The graphic yeah. off. Mm. I remember one time when I was a little kid and it was like Christmas and we were in a closet. We like went in the closet, and in the closet was all the to- all the presents. Yeah. Like I don't remember like those, anything good. Yeah, the, like I just remember the army dudes, the little green army dudes, yeah. just being in there and being like, "Damn, we know what we're getting now." <laughs> no stretch Armstrong. Nothing like no, that. I remember right. that too. Taking us back again. Yeah. What, what was that one? Oh, you pulled that one. Over. Yeah, same thing. Let's keep going. We got one. Keep grabbing. I'll go there. back to YouTube for a second. Uh, wow, those Ellingtons are so sick. That's Gons would go. He also says, I'm looking for Andy Kessler Vans, skate high, new buck, black and blue laces, size 10. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, okay. DM, chop on kicks. DM. Ch- we'll try to find it for you. You, you heard him. Um, Tyler, Cecil, drum I'm covers. I'm looking for a wearable pair of Cossum ones. What are my odds? Question mark. Uh, pretty good, because they did reissue them without the, the foam in the midsole. Yeah. And the foam wouldn't crumble so much, so you could probably find a wearable pair. Yeah. If they are the reissues. So they're called the um shit, the name escapes me, but it's uh you have the Costin one and then you have the K one. Yeah. The K one is the reissue. I remember the K one. I mean I remember the Costin one, but I also remember the K one. Still Steve says, Boys, no one knows where you guys are at on the live insta live. 
Um, can I get a free deck? That's what he wants. Lost mine a month ago and can't afford to get a new one. Uh, I used where he used to wear the P rods and S's. I told people on the Instagram where to find you guys on YouTube. Good looks, man. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Those are nice. And no, you can't get a free deck, bro. Although if you fought, it, it, since you're on our Instagram, we do give away free decks from time to time, and it's almost time to do another skateboard giveaway. The last one was really awesome. Got a lot of cool feedback and tried to give one out. So subscribe to the channel, and we do giveaways from time to time. We're gonna do some socks actually next, and then we'll do another board. Um, those are nice, but I would never wear wear these. <laughs> yeah, never wear them. that's the hard part. Is like. It, they are old and they're dated, but my nostalgia is with the shoes. So it's yeah. like, you know, that's why people ask me, oh, what, which ones do you wear? I'm not really going to wear them because they're not really like in style. Yeah. Some of them are sick when they are in style, but to, to skate one of these pairs. I wouldn't skate them though. You'd have to be crazy though too for yeah. the value. Um, Natter, yeah. shout out to my oh, homie Natter sorry. out there. Little young ripper killing it. Hope you're good, my dude. Nice. What else are you pulling out there? Everything. Nice. Uh, Costumes, muskets. Uh. Nice. Those ones are way safe. Costume three. Oh, that's what you're talking about, huh? Yeah, it's Little falling bit apart, bit. man. Yeah, just the side of it, huh? Damn, that one's insane with the rip. Mm -hmm. That one's fully, but you're just hang they're just hanging on. They're pretty yeah. built still, like pretty good. You definitely couldn't skate them though. Yeah, so another admin of Chomp on Kicks, Clay Griffin. He, of course everybody knows on Chomp on Kicks, but for YouTube, Clay Griffin has an entire room dedicated to the shoe. He's got every single colorway that was released. How many colorways do you think roughly? Oh, dude, I don't a know. lot though. It's a lot, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of shoes. Because he's got doubles. That's insane. Some he's got triples in uh now he's looking for all the costume two colorways. Yeah. So just putting that out there, if anyone's got costume twos that they want to they want to sell, he already has the uh, Lakers one, and he's got a bunch more. But this unreleased color, this sample. But yeah, it's the three. Gnarly. Basic. And that thing's just barely hanging on. Though. <laughs> She's rough. She's looking rough. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> this one is a tank, though. I would probably wow. never have skated this. But it's pretty wild. That is it's a an fucking... early Circa model. This is like a Voltron shoe. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like they, everything came together to form this shoe. That yeah. is insane on the front. It's it has all a plastic. Hood. It has a hood. You say it has a hood, but that's the real true uh, term? design term. Yeah. He, he uh, took that inspiration from a car. Yeah. I so can like see it's, it. it's really like got a vent on it. Might yeah, have been hilarious. Yeah, show that up close. Yeah, yeah. But maybe do it in suede so it's. I bet you can't be per that precise mm. with the design, but that whatever that is, a car hood, man. That's rough. <laughs> How's that's that? Hold on, let's see. We got a little bit of a delay. There's the YouTube in this. Oh, she's so Bring good. Bring it down a little bit, too. Yeah, a little lower. There Dude, you go. Wow, you can see that really good, though. Flip it to the side, too. Yeah, thank you. Damn, these shoes are so heavy, man. It's crazy you have this many, bro. Right. Are you, so how how often are you getting more shoes? Uh, I stopped <laughs> last year. You did? You yeah, cut yourself yeah. off? I kind of just had to chill out. No more donuts. Um, no more donuts. Uh, yeah. I just had to slow down because I, I kind of feel satisfied with all my muck. Because it started me wanting every single pair that was released uh, from Chad Muska. So all the CM shoes. And it just kind of branched out to all the shoes that I wanted when I was a kid. Yeah. Some that I had. And, uh... I'm I'm still looking for two models out there to finish the musket collection. So it's only two more models and I'm like I'm done. You have but, do you have the whole collection or that's just what you're satisfied with? That's the whole that's pretty much the whole collection. Nice. So there's that's one that's insane. that has never been released and I've only found one pair and it's like the left shoe that the designer has. Wow. So Muska had one pair, he skated it, it was in a couple of Transworld ads. I was like, what shoe is that? So the designer said, so it's CM907, and it was he has one of them. Wow. So I'm like trying to get it from him. He's like, not, nah. you know, <laughs> I, I should probably keep, you know, hold, hold on to this pair because I designed it. Yeah, but. He's right. I have one more. Yeah. One more I need You're to right, too. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, give it to Matt. Give it to Matt. Yeah, this is the CX201. This is one of the first team shoes that came out on Circa, 1999. 
That one's sick looking. Yeah, this was kind of looks like, like DC ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and the Mark Appleyard skated this so much. Uh, Sammy Baptista, Mark Appleyard. Ooh, shout out Sammy Baptista too. Yeah, Lindsey Robinson. Oh, uh, heel flips for Yes, yeah, yeah, Chief drives. Heels. All of Chief Heels. Um, <laughs> yeah, they ripped this shoe a lot, but um, Chris Cole and Mark Appleyard pretty much, it was like their unofficial pro model. Yeah. So I remember some of the clips in that thing, especially from Appleyard. Yeah. Didn't you have the ads with that too? Yeah, like, with this, definitely. Yeah. Like you'd see this for the most part. Like you'd see the the underside. Yeah. And that little swish on the side. Hell yeah. So designing his pro model, he just said, I, I want something that's like a two oh one. So the designer went and he made the MO four oh two, which it doesn't look exactly like it, but it's it's very synonymous. So you have the Ollie bumps right there on the side. Yeah. Some of the same lines. I think just the color, if they had similar colors, you could really see how it was similar. But you can see the influence for sure. Yeah. That's a little beefier, though. Yeah, definitely. I kind of uh, like this. Looks fun to rip one. up. Yeah. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Like, I look forward to, like, Same. tearing that up while skating. Good use of the materials, yeah. too. Like, they're getting away from the hard plastic. Yeah. So at least. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing about me is, like, if a skate shoe can look good while you rip it up. Yeah. And, yeah, and hell it's like, yeah. fuck. So, there's a famous picture of uh, PJ Lads Excel. Just a black Excel OG after like a thousand kickflips. It's just slipper. And it's just destroyed. But it's yeah. like, you know when you put that shoe on, it's going to feel amazing. Because oh, yeah. it's so broken in. You never let but, those ones go. You're riding <laughs> to the ground, bro. Yeah. Uh, Mark and his boy, uh, Josh Hansen. I don't know if that rings a bell. Sounds familiar. Like yeah, super cool dude. He, he's the one that got me in contact with uh, Mark getting one of his pro models. And he used to rip up one shoe. And then give it to Mark so they could switch off or something oh, like that. Oh, like, because they had Mark would rip, tear it up so much that like yeah. he'd get the hand me downs and it'd just be like perfect for him. Yeah, the opposite stance. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, everyone needs a homie like that. One thing I also noticed, I don't know if this is a huge deal, but that line right there is like the logo in the yeah. middle of the shoe. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Circus Excel, basically. You know? Yeah. A little tacker, but. Way sick. This is actually one of the best ones we looked at as far as like actually skating it too. Mm, yep, it's yep. getting a little tighter, a little slimmer. It's looking a little like a running shoe, but it's not too far away from skating. Definitely got fun- function. Kind of like the there. bottom. Yeah, the bottom sick. Yeah. I think. Because uh... some of the shit's ridiculous. Like, I I love them all, but like some of them would be so hard to skate. You could right. get used to them, but. Yeah, like those. Yeah, right there, very similar. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Yeah, way sick. Oh, okay. Next question. Yeah, yeah. How much have you spent on a pair? Like, what's your most expensive one? Is that stupid to ask? No, it's not stupid to ask at all. Um, uh, five or six hundred dollars on one pair. Yes, That's actually I, way less than I thought. Holy so, shit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's expensive. Still. Yeah, yeah but, but people pay like $700 for like fucking shit yeah. that come out today that yeah, aren't like even hype Yeah, shit. exactly. But, um, one dude out there is probably saying like, oh, I know he's bullshitting because he bought a shoe for more expensive, but like, I, I'm, not, I'm not spending my, my hard-earned money because like I don't get paid that much, but uh, it's kind of like through flipping shoes. So yeah. I had three Ellington ones that were new in box, and that's, that's what I like to deal with. So some dude, I... Oh, I mentioned this on your on my last podcast with you. It's been a year. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, some dude hits me up, and his name is, it was like Manhattan or something, and he had pictures of like watches. Yeah. Wicked cool dude. He's like, oh, um, how much you selling those for? And I was like, oh, they're not really for sale because they got a lot what of sale value. What you Ellington Ones. Okay. So it was pretty, some pretty good pairs, pretty rare pairs. But he offered me like a grand. Damn. And at first I told him no. Shut up, him, bro. And no, no. At first I told him no until I saw a grand. And I was like, where do you want to chip to? You know? <laughs> so like, he was a wicked good dude to deal with. I got him in the box. I sent it to him. I, I probably sent some extra shit too. But like, after you have a grand, it's like, yeah, you're like, all right, now I can buy, you know, something that I've been looking for forever. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, are probably freaking out about this shoe on Instagram. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I'm still, I'm still looking for more, but like, people are calling me a hoarder now that I've, uh, four of these. <laughs> Sorry you know, for like, you. Yeah, there's like a legend. They they only made 500 of these, so it's kind of like, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't yeah. know how to verify that. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, though. Yeah, it's, it's the one that was in that. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and shit like that. No shit. Yeah. Didn't know that. So you own like 0.8% of them. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Someone retracted their <clears throat> message. I thought that was funny. Took it away. Yeah. They said no, bro. Never that one. Yeah. Making fun of my stupid face. I don't know what the most is I've ever paid for a pair of shoes. What about you? Uh, maybe like a hundred dollars. <throat> yeah. Know. What yeah. do you guys remember when you were growing up? Like one shoe that you like really looked down at while you were skating with your homies, like that you were like, I love this shoe. Yeah. You know, like, I have one that's out. really cringy. Those BAM audios that had the hardograms all over That's them. not that cringy. In fourth grade, <laughs> dude, those were like, when I got a pair of those, I felt like I was like a part of something. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. They had a, they had a wedge to them. Yeah. Was like a really nice shape. I have an old ass photo of myself as like a little kid and you can see like how ripped up they are yeah. inside, dude. It's like those. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So Thank that cringy. You. It's pretty He's cringy. Got, show the people now. Oh, I can't He's got the hardogram. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at the hardogram on my wrist. Dude, dude. that's amazing. Yeah. Band's a legend, though. Yeah, I was well, just a huge fan I of was, Bam, I was super into the band camp. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I started seeing CKY videos, and I was like, all right, skateboarding, uh, fucking around, yeah. and the band. I'm like, I have to get it. And I'm six, 16. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. That's awesome you guys yeah. are connected. You're so bro. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, Seriously. Shoes, <laughs> he had a, a purple pair of those, too, though. Yeah, purple. Yeah, my buddy Matt had those. Yeah, <laughs> hot topic, dude. I don't even know where the fuck we were getting shoes at that time. Probably like Bob's. <laughs> Did Bob's ever carry audio? I don't think they sold shit like that. Honestly, maybe at some yeah. point because there was a time when audio got bought by K two, yeah. right? Yeah, and then they like or Edge actually. Now that I think back, Edge have. used to sell shoes. Marshall. So. Yeah. yeah, I don't know because those skate shops were pretty far from where I lived in Middleborough. You know what I yeah. mean? I hadn't really heard of Solstice as like a little kid. So, like, everywhere was just, like... Yeah, mid- mid-90s hit me, man, because I walked into Solstice, and it was it was just like the experience in mid-90s. Like yeah. Bunch of kids. <laughs> oh, the movie. Yeah, 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 the movie mid-90s. And just, like, such a cool experience, like, being a kid, going there. You don't have a skateboard. Right. You, you're, like, you, you're not into the style at all, so you're just, like, this kid wearing a corn shirt, and, like, you got a wallet <laughs> chain, and then you got these kids, like, yeah. kind of feel judged. But they're just like, whatever. You're, right. you're kind of like us. You like the skateboard. Yeah. That's the cool thing yeah. about skateboarding is like, it takes all types. Like, mm-hmm. And everyone's pretty accepting. Like Super diverse. Especially just... if you're skating. Like if you're there and you're like trying tricks and shit, no matter what you're wearing, usually people are fucking going to be cool to you. Yeah, right. unless you have that douche that comes up and tries a trick and lands it first try. You were trying. <laughs> yeah, occasionally. Or asks you like, yo, you trying to manny that? <laughs> and they do it for you and you're like, all right, yeah. time to go. And there's like probably a bunch of other skaters are like, yeah, that guy's the worst. <laughs> Why does he do that? <laughs> Some uh, fake guy we made up. He's such an asshole. We should jump him in the parking lot. <laughs> JK. That's fantasy land. But dude, I mean, skate, dude. Just fuck, snakes are out there, bro. Snakes. Sometimes I snake people when I'm out there. Mm-hmm. Just on purpose. I snake like little dudes and just like go... Like Piece of the lesson. Cut them off real quick. Yes. Do you push them over sometimes? Never, never. You should. I do. I'll do power slide. Jump start. higher than them, dude. Like if I know, him, <laughs> if I know like a homie and I've skated with him before, I'll do like a quick power slide at him and stop, and then like move around him, you know, and they're like, oh, throw him off every time. Yeah. But they're usually pretty laugh about it, you know. So I didn't want to forget this one thing. Last time I was on here, I mentioned the Excel was designed by Don Brown. That was kind of a stupid, nervous move of me. Fair enough. But it was Pierre. Pierre. Yeah. yeah. Pierre, the the CEO. Yeah. Nine, okay. uh, I could get this wrong also, but the Excel was 1996. So, like, I'm wearing them right now, and people are like, yo, this is sick. We're, like, are those new shoes? And it's like, yeah, they're reissues, but, like, they were designed in 96, and they, they still look pretty good. Yeah. A little puppy, but, you know. The ones you have That's kind of what I live for, yeah. I, when, they brought the, when they brought back the Excel, the puffy ones, I bought a pair. Yeah. They got them from Solstice, the, like, what, they're, like, off-white. So comfortable. Yeah, I had them just to wear them, so I felt like Bobby's World. <laughs> Bobby's World? Yeah, with, like, big shoes. You, you know Bobby's World? Yeah, like, I do know Bobby's Big World. shoes, big head, yeah. okay body. Yeah. Like, because you look down, and it's just, like, big-ass moon boots, mm-hmm. but they're, like, plush pillows. And I was exactly. Like, That's warm around, like, they're a luxury, like, Cadillacs. And I ended up skating, and I'm, like, here and there, and I was fucking bummed but <laughs> then like, once you oh, skate like the old days like yeah the glory days you thought well then once you like skate them then you're like i'm just gonna wear these outside now like in yeah. the grass and, and they're white right yeah and awesome. it's like you i gotta use them you know like that was tough i tried to keep them as long as i could as just pillows though best feeling ever nice Do you, that's what you that's what i need now is just like 
some big pillow shoes that you don't even skate in. They just you come in. That's kind of what these are. Little loafers. Yeah, those are cute. Uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> Thank you. Have you guys seen the brand Era One? <laughs> yeah. Era One is an Australian-based company. Is they, it basketball influence? No, no. It's it's, it's all skate. Oh, okay. It's, it's oh, yeah. One dude that's really set on trying to bring back that older style, but all in one company. So it's like Era One. He has his I've first seen model. It before. Yeah, for sure. That was similar to the Costin One, and then he has. The second model with a strap on it that's not released yet and then one he he asked me to design yeah so i oh. i have the first yeah the first sample it still looks dope but what he wants to do now is put a air pocket in the in the outsole nice so like having a sole with a pocket back you know yeah that's way it's, it's a bulky nice. shoe like he wanted me to kind of design it a little bit bulky but it's kind of like you could say like a circa meets ac action shoe yeah but kind of vents in the top uh, vents in the side and like a little a little swoop. And is there a photo happen. online? No, no. It's on my Instagram though. It is. Let's yeah. pull it up. Let's pull it up because I got. If you design it, I got to see it, right? Yeah, for sure. I feel like you showed me before. I th Maybe I have last to pull time. it up on my phone. Oh, is it like far back? Um, you'll have to DM it to me or something. After yeah, because I want to see that thing, dude. Is it on Chomp? I should have brought it. You have one, dude. Yeah, uh, makes sense. You do. I don't. I don't think it's on Chomp. It would have to be like really. Uh, far back or hmm. does he have a um, does he do a skate team or like what's he doing um, he does have a few people skating for him he has one legend from Australia I, the name escapes me but uh, he had him on like a mega ramp and I'm like oh shit like that dude skating era ones like this is something wow. big that's why yeah, on it's... a mega ramp <laughs> dude's out there going for it they have the 23's yeah style 23 yeah those are sick when I met uh, Don Brown in California I went to Soul Tech to just visit and, you know, texted him. He's like, oh, I'll be right out. And this dude comes out of the, the bathroom or whatever. It was Saw Bobby A. Yeah, I see. So I met him, too. I was like, holy shit, man. Damn, two in a row. Yeah. Gnarly heavy one. You get some shoe legends right there. Hell yeah. Damn, remember the Mark Johnson? You could probably go to the Era 1 Instagram. Yeah, go to that. Let's pull that one up. What's that one? Costa? That's no. the new S Silo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like, we, we support S so much on, on Chomp. Yeah. Like, S, they're so cool, and they, like, communicate as well. That's it. Like, if you look at every one of their, um, you know, like, if, if somebody's asking questions about their picture on Instagram, like, they'll get back to you, like, really quick. Yeah. Some companies, you know, they take a while. Yeah. How do you spell it? So, you got E-R-A, and then it's O, yeah. So, you get that. Just put footwear. and probably come up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That's sick, yeah. It's important to engage, you know? Especially if you yeah. have a brand and people give a shit about your brand. It's like you got to kind of like communicate. If people are, are like out of, over the line, you don't have to. But like most people are just generally hyped, right? Yeah, you yeah. feel that way. Like I, I see stuff from you and I, I still get a little feeling like, damn, Shetler, you know, you witnessed me. You Hell noticed yeah. me. Yeah. That's cool. I take my time to try to like really go through and look at things and see stuff. So uh, that middle That's... picture to the left. This one? I can't really make that out. Damn, is that you? No, no, that's that's the second model right there. That's it's got sick. the strap, though. Yep, the strap. And they're in Australia? Yeah. Nice. Um, all right, so scroll down. Yeah, that's a full Who's on skate shoe. Oh, right oh Taz. <laughs> yep, so he's he's rocked them. Who is it? Taz Pappas. Yep, oh, Pappas. nice. Yeah. Legend. Go uh, down Toss a little more. Toss and Ben, right? The brother. This one? No, uh, oh, it's probably going to be down. Um, Keep scrolling. Yeah, sorry. Well, those are like crazy color ones. Off. Oh, I've seen those ones before. Yeah, yeah. Arrow it's ones a with the gum sick design. The yeah. That's cool that they're doing this, man. There's some skating too, you know. Yeah, they're they're bulky, but they're just like. There's a niche for that. Like a lot of people are asking for that. Yeah, it's awesome. That's mm -hmm. what I'm always talking about. I'm like, just because like there's sports companies doing it, like. You, there's still ways to make skate shoes and do it right, I feel like. And some brand, there still are skate brands, like skaters doing it and doing it right. And like, oh, yeah. that's why I was like kind of weird. Like, I'm like, I wouldn't be mad if like Lakai wanted to do a jogger, but someone's got to be stoked on actually designing that shoe yeah. and make a good product, you know? Like, that's the whole thing. Like, the big argument is like Nike, all these big corporations come in and they eat a piece of the skate business, you know? Like, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the whole pretty, thing? Pretty much, they, yeah. Like, just like, there's a pie and they're like taking off a slice, right? A slice? Yeah, <laughs> taking a lot. <laughs> the, <laughs> so it's just like, but someone's still got to keep going, you know? Like, yeah, it, it's like, not on there. I guess because it's, it's still in the early stages. Damn. It's coming now? Yeah. 
It should be. It's on pause right now, but, you know. Hell yeah. It's brewing, it's marinating. It's some cool shit. Yeah, it's sick, man. That's cool. Yeah, so, like, to me, it's like, I don't know. Lakai seems to be able to pull it off. Yeah. It's yeah. weird because retail shops are closing down, but people still got to buy stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I wonder how many skate shops are out there. I want to list how many, like, skate shops exist they change so much man do you ever notice that like sometimes shop like people close them up and change their mind yeah. and like um, sometimes they get robbed and like so mm-hmm. much shit you yeah know? I'm, I'm amazed at what jay's doing like that that shit looks so proper now yeah. it's almost like why why didn't this happen a while ago you know yeah well it, it was a little hollow point. before and now yeah. it's just like damn like solstice is su- super nice yeah the homie from uh no problema he's like that's his building so he moved the shop which is epic you know yeah. so that's like, and Solstice definitely has been around for what twenty some years, it's been over twenty four years, maybe twenty eight some years, it, probably a little, yeah, dude, before. just so crazy because I remember when it was just the library up up on the Union. yeah, the flames, yeah, painted. Mar- Martin did the graffiti, he did and that? flames, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I talked about that on like one of the last podcasts too. They should make some stickers like of the old old graffiti. If yeah, could that'd find be sick. That. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, so, I don't know. I still think it's possible, though, like, because, dude, sh- skateboarding shoes are the sickest, and all the pros that design them, and, like, the brands, and to be able to do all this, you have to have skateboarders involved, and, like, it's crazy now, like, I just always worry, because it's, like, they're getting squeezed out, like, how many skate brands, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. What I see DC doing, I mean, I know this, DC is, like, a behemoth, they, they're fucking huge company. Well, they, see, they didn't but, just stick to skateboarding, yeah. that's my point, is, like, if you're gonna do it, they gotta have designers and shit that are fucking into shoes, you know? Yeah, they're doing great things because they're satisfying the community that likes the bigger shoes. So like you have the Kalis one, yeah, and then you have the uh, like the the OG reissue Kalis, and then you have the slim version of that. So it's almost like these older shoes took basketball style shoes, yeah. but now it's like if you can make a thinner tech shoe, just getting that nostalgic look, you know, yeah. from that older shoe. And just do it proper, make yeah. it a little bit more technical, yeah. instead of just slapping a bulk on it and calling it the reissue. Yeah, yeah it makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, take your time, do it right. Yeah, make it. That's it. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's a tough game, man. But it's shoes. You gotta be in the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a few years ago, Mario Miller, he's a pretty cool dude. He was like part of Circa. He worked for the company. Um, he. I actually heard his name before. Yeah, yeah. He. He's. Yeah. He skates. He's. He's a really cool dude. But he was. On the Circa, like he was an admin, he reposted one of my pictures. This was a few years ago, so it was probably under different management. And we got to talking, and he was like, oh, I, I'd like to see what somebody like you that's liked the band for a while, you know a lot more than, like, a lot of the corporate people that work here. Yeah. It's like, we'd like to see what you would bring to the table. So, like, I designed something on Illustrator. It looked real proper, and then I sent it in. It was, like, this uh, wooden box with a USB stick. Yeah. It was a carved box. The USB was printed on it, the logo. Nice. And just never really heard back. I, I, I got one email just saying, like, we don't take freelance freelance artwork. Yeah. And, and Mario was like, shit, man, I, I tried for you. Yeah. So it was pretty cool, dude. That's cool to get that close. I was actually yeah, going to yeah. ask you, like, is that something you'd like to do? Like, I'd, I'd love it, man. I've, try, I've tried a little bit for S, but, like, yeah, my fault. Like, I just didn't really put enough passion into it. Like, I tried a little bit, but it's like, it's hard to see something that would work nowadays, but I think I'm gonna keep trying at it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You just can't recreate the complete past. You can take yeah, care yeah. of what you like with it, right? To- totally. And then just kind of move with, like, find your comfortable balance, you know? Yeah, that's a lot of the arguments that we get in on Chomp is like, oh, you're just stuck in the past. It's like when we, when we go on a, a brand's profile and just say, like, circa, like, just say, make make a cup sole that's a little bit tech. You know, they're just like, you're just stuck in the past. It's like, not really. Like, just try it once. I mean, DC seems to be selling out, like, immediately. Yeah. When they make something like that. Yeah. Just try, give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> try it out. Instead of just blocking me. <laughs> no, baby. Bitch please. ass block. That's a bitch ass block. Yeah. <laughs> so, try to slide into DMs, too. And they're like, <laughs> That's insane, man. This is insane, bro. Do you collect anything else? No. 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 That's Do you good. come across like vintage That's clothing good. a lot? Not really. No. No. Besides see, that vin- like vintage sponsor. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I I follow him, but mm-hmm. I don't really. You know, yeah. 
Yeah. There's enough like people that had shoes along with like the te- like the tees from that time. Shit yeah, like that, sometimes you know? I will get tempted with boards, yeah. but I won't go down that route because like it can get crazy. I have boxes. Yeah, boards. <laughs> yeah, 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 Paul Lace yeah thing. collectibles like original muskets and like there's mm. there's whole like uh, drama there and stuff because certain people sell them fakes and stuff like that. Yeah, not good. Like, I got like a Thrasher yeah. mag from like '95. Yeah, with a uh, Muska on the cover actually. He's doing five oh. Brooklyn Banks. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, five O on the small uh, banks? The rail. Yeah, the, the big rail. the small banks <clears throat> one. I'm not sure. I feel like it was the one. It did it was the rail in the middle of the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah small bank. Yeah. The other one has like a drop. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't that one. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. one you can still skate. Yeah? Yeah. But can you even skate the banks? You can't. Well, last time I went to New York City, you could, yeah. Oh, okay. You just kind of had to hop the fence, but, like, there weren't cops, like, posted there kicking people out. Yeah. Well, they had it all blocked off. I heard, though, that it's been blocked off again. Yeah. Like, once again now. By pigeon shit? Yeah. (laughs) It always goes on. Yeah, literally. It was so dirty. (laughs) I don't know what the point of keeping it, like, it was crazy. It was like a piece of uh, time had been preserved. Yeah, that's how it felt definitely. being there because Love pop, nothing man. has been touched because it's just been like barbed wired off, and then randomly someone got through the gate and they seem not to care. The banks, yeah. the banks have know. been around for so long; they have changed it. Though. When we went there, a bunch of people ended up rolling through, like a crew of like fifteen people. Oh, cool, cool. skated it with us. You so got like, it. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely like word had spread. It was it was blown out again. <laughs> And then just lock it up and just make it like yeah yeah it's like what the hell's the point of that put it yeah. they should just put a fence around it and like make it something that you can go to it was yeah. a parking lot one time for like cop cars and all these barriers and stuff they blocked it all off yeah I think that was like maybe after nine eleven they blocked it off I remember that though and Dude, being like such you can't a fun even skate spot, it though. you can still skate different parts of it then the rail too on the small banks they changed it to like yeah. basically a skate park rail that thing was insane. Yeah, that's probably one of the spots I had the most fun at. Did you listen Brooklyn to Jordan Banks. Peterson? All the time. Yeah, so in his book, he's got that rule. It's like, don't bother kids when they're skateboarding. skateboarding. yeah. And it just explains, like, when you take a spot and you either skate stop it or you put a barbed wire, it's just like, it's like an authoritarian. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't look the same anymore. Like, yeah, your business might be protected from, like, a waxed curb. But, yeah. Yeah. Like, it doesn't look much better like this. Right. You know? Yeah. It's weird. Plus, they're just kids, man, or they're just humans that are, like, trying something, you know? Yeah. It's not like they're criminals or anything. My school just built a bunch of new ledges, and they, like, didn't even skate stop them. They just cut into the concrete. Oh, and shit, so there's, yeah. like, slat. It looks so horrible. I'm like, why would you do that? What is dope, though, is, like, the skater that will find a way. Yeah, so, someone will find a way to skate it. Yeah. yeah, There's so many spots. They can't, especially on the East Coast, the landscape changes so fast every season. You're like... It gets repaved and right. moved around, and fucking ice gets in, water yep. gets in, and then you got new spots. That's why when when I see you and you know Brandon Westgate skate, it's just like a totally different style, man. It's like you just powerhouse through everything. Hell yeah! You know, like the ground can be as crummy as you want. It's not going to be this like Long Beach smooth sidewalk. No, it's yeah. It's going to be this fucked up like we found it Brooklyn yeah. weathered road. <laughs> We just drive around, dude, and just find shit. It's never perfect, too, because it's the weather here. It's just just short of everything. You have to, like, really muscle through shit, you know? Oh, that's insane. That's at uh, World Trade Center where that outledge is that they keep capping and uncapping. Yeah, because he was saying someone will find a way. (laughs) Dude, someone will find a way to skate anything. Life uh, finds a way. (laughs) Dude, right? Yeah, that's a manual and a half. (laughs) Chris Millick. Right? He's just doing manual through the skate Through the skate stuff. Chris Millick's part and Dr. Scarecrow. Definitely one worth checking out. Oh, you got some. Whoa! Whoa. Look at those! Wow, these ones are wild, dude. Yeah. Such a crazy colorway, but I love it. That was also, like, from Mosca. He just passed that off to me and was like, take that. Wow. CN703? Yeah. So this is one of his? Yeah. No shit. Wow, it's so different. He just handed me that. That one looks really thinned out. Yeah, but it's like the snake skin one. That's the same water. <laughs> is it? Oh, let me this see looks that. like a thin shoe to me now after yeah. today. Pull that snake skin yeah. down. Yeah. Wow! All right, yeah, I can see it. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so different in the snake skin. Right. To yeah. I'm gonna go show the cameras. Dude, yeah, please. Wow. It's the two one R. That's the two hundred one R is the reissue of the two hundred one. So, like you were asking before, how I feel about reissues. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't make that an identical reissue, but they called it an R, and it's just like. 
you know, got some changes, but, you know, the changes are apl kind of applicable to the times, you know? Yeah. A little bit thinner sole, mm -hmm. still huge tongue. Yeah. But the design is like, it's got way different. Yeah, like yeah. Contrast, exactly. So. It's not a really it's not a true reissue. reissue. Yeah. It's just like an update, almost. Dude, that one's way sick. Those two together, dude, they're crazy, man. Right? Like, both those colorways are insane, but they work. This thing on camera, I can just all I can see is the rainbow one. <laughs> this one, <laughs> dude, it looks like Skittles, my friend. Right. Who's mad at those? Oh, that's a season one. Candy. I like the red dip right. tip on that. That's definitely like basketball shoe thing, right? Oh, they're fun. Man down. Man down. Man down. Muska flag. Dude, this is so funny that this is just like the norm. I know, man. It's insane how many shoes there were. For a lot of those big ass shoes. Now it's the opposite, though. Right. So everyone's now it's extreme. like as thin as possible. I know. They're so extreme, dude. I mean, it's definitely coming back somewhat. But it was hitting that point where it was like, okay, just paper and a fucking soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, my theory is like right after the recession, shit just like went wicked downhill. Yeah. It was like, damn, those look good. All right, let's go get some design ideas from Payless. <laughs> pretty much start there from that point on. Yeah. They're like, blocked? He's yeah. blocked? <laughs> He's blocked. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Wait, you were talking about Jordan Peterson before. Mm -hmm. What was the reference? Where were we at there? That was his chapter on... Uh, oh, Don't Mess With Skateboarders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave Don't Mess alone. With Skateboarders. Yeah. They're, Kids need danger. Yeah, they need a certain amount of danger, and skateboarding is dangerous. So definitely. it's like you gotta learn your limits, and that's what they're doing. The limit of order and chaos, where you're in yeah. that you're you're in that flow state, you know, balance between order and chaos, where you yeah. know what you're doing, but you're pushing yourself into the realm where you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you know, yeah. until you slam or you get it, you yeah. get that dopamine kick. Yeah, skateboarding can definitely be that at times. Like yeah. you could do that for sure. It's the best thing about skateboarding. It's cool that fashion and skateboarding are pretty much hand in hand. Yeah, what I really, really like is connecting with people that they just want to, you know, DM me and say they had, you know, that shoe and that mm -hmm. colorway. And that's like pretty much the end of the conversation. I'm like, yo, dude, I had that. I just wanted to let you, let you know I had that shoe. I'm like, choo -choo -choo. cool, man. A little shout out. Like, yeah, they, they, they get it. They get the feeling too. Like, yeah. at one time they were looking down and they're just like sh shredded shoe and they're like, I love these shoes. Yeah. Definitely. It's just a fucking shoe, you know? Like, for me, the hobby just grew, and I'm like, oh, shit, I am a sneakerhead. Yeah. But it's like the history and, you know, yeah. everything that was there. Yeah, that's way sick. It's cool that stuff. Gotta make a little shoe museum. Shoe museum. <laughs> <laughs> a shoe museum. It's like glass cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I thought about doing that with a a little printed uh, story on each of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I thought about getting because I have some stuff signed. <laughs> yeah, sick. yeah, that'd be sick. A little plaque. A little plaque. Yeah, plaque like on each one plaque. donated by Chad Muska himself. Yeah, I might have him sign a few things. That'd be sick. Um, I, I do have something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, Please? You remember Stray? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's still around, I believe. Yeah. I okay. just, you remember it because it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I like because. that shoe box. The one that's like a. Dude, the amount of shoes you well, have. You <laughs> This guy brought like yeah, five sure. massive boxes sure. of more shoes. Look at this thing. Bring. This is this is the shoe box <laughs> for it. Shoe Not porn. Like it. We're doing shoe porn right now. It zips and everything. <laughs> this is amazing. Let me see that one. Pull Dude, that one. Up. Isn't that crazy? I don't need the jacuzzi. Oh, yeah. oh, that thing is sick. So that has right? nothing to do with Stray. I don't have the shoe with me right now. But, uh. <laughs> but uh, Chad and the designer for Stray, they asked me for uh, the, one of the first pairs of Chad Musta shoes from Circa. And they printed that on a stray slip-on. Oh, I saw that. You saw that? I that, saw that. That's my pair, dude. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really? So they, they unbranded all the circus stuff, and what? they just like, printed it. Yeah, on yeah, it. yeah. I That's thought insane. those were sick. Yeah, they sent me a pair. Did you ever see those? Really cool. No. Dude, I'll, I'll, pull you, I'll pull up a picture. I feel like it's not too far down on their Insta. Look at the on the heel of this one. What is that? Like the VCR almost. Right? Yeah, that was his, uh, Chad's thing, because he was a D, you know, he was a DJ. Oh, was okay, yeah. Stop, play, um, rewind, force forward, stop, pause, yeah. Pretty much. Record. Every one of his shoes has that. Look at that's a slip on. Oh, like so some, somewhere. Hold hidden on in there? there? Yeah. That's way sick. Oh, wow. Wait, I did see that. That's so funny, dude. That's such an amazing idea. Yeah. <laughs> People, pe they got shit from a lot of collectors, but it's like. Really? It's Stray. Like, Stray's, I don't think yeah, Stray what? will reissue a Sarka. 
Yeah. But that's that's fucking cool. sick. I want to see more shoes like that yeah. now. Like, <laughs> maybe like an Ellington printed on it. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Go the opposite way. Go the big heel and then have It'd just be funny wearing them like... and looking down at it because your eyes see that and then like someone else just see slip-ons on your feet yeah. from a distance. You know what I mean? It's funny. <laughs> and you're looking at, you know. Like... It's like an illusion. Wait, that thing was made or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they sold that. So I think they're, they're still selling it too. Wow. But they asked me if they could use my pair, and they got like all the high res shots. Oh, so they, like, okay. Put so, in there. Yeah, that's way safe. Yeah, straight makes some sick shit. <laughs> she says fuck across the heels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had like the flap, the flip up. Shout out to Stray. They sponsored the New England name yeah, for a couple some years. Sick shit. The homie out there. Yeah, man. Solid. Is there any other ones? Uh, I have a few more in the boxes. Here. Let's bring them through. Let's yeah, get them out, dude. I'm in, dude. This is why I'm here. I'm here for the shoes. I kind of want to see the whole collection because last time we definitely didn't go through all this. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, man. I'm going to put these on and skate them while you're not looking. Are they all left? What are they all certain? No, they're not. No, I, I brought all the boxes, man. Well, many of the boxes that I have so that I can just, you know, left or right. Yeah, you got either or. Where do you keep these things? Has you got room for these? I got two places I keep them. Yeah, one in a room. It's got a lot of those, like, cedar blocks. Yeah. Like, mahogany. Like, so, you know. You put them in the Combat sweat? against mold mm. and stuff. Nah, I just keep them in the box. Just get it in the box. That's good. That's good you're thinking about that. Yeah, mold, that would suck. Yeah. Just get crusty old shoes. Yeah, Kevin, I think this is your favorite model, like, out of the day. Dude, yeah. <laughs> These are fucking boss. Yeah, those are way sick. This is like pretty close to what I was ordering, like when I was younger skating circuits and shit. This, this is like navy, getting right? pretty close to like what they looked like. Yeah, some navy. Yeah, the airbag. I just like like the top down. You know what I mean? That one's heavy too. I like the black and gum. Yeah. Dude. So. Sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> that was the model that came right after this model. So oh, okay. It's pretty much the same outsole. Yep. Just with a different upper. This one's like cleaner though. They didn't do yeah. all the passes. I like the blue in the here. Holes. That one's way sick. Yeah, yeah. navy and gum. Yeah. It's proper looking because it's got the top of the foot protection, but it doesn't poof out to the side too much, you know? Yeah. They kept it thin on the edge. Some of these yeah. are poofy. Some are poofy. They are they, poofy, man. They are all poofy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones are starting to get there. They're starting to get a little mellower. When's the last time you went to the edge? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while? Probably, yeah, probably like a year and a half. Well, it's starting to get nice out, so mm. it doesn't even... You can go wherever now. I went to the New Bedford not that long ago. New Bedford Skate Park? We went to uh, the DIY, and then we skated around the city. It's Me, like, Evan, and Like, old times, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Still do that. Whenever I feel lost or, like, feel like I just need to, like, center myself, so I'll, skate. I'll go to New Bedford, and I'll go visit the shop, get some no problem. I'll skate down to the docks. Maybe hit Lindsay or go to the DIY yeah. and just like go to all of it. Bring someone new. That's what I do. Bomb Union Street. Sometimes I just bring someone new. Yeah. Like bomb just, Union Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Bomb Union all the way to the bottom. It's like the best feeling. Yeah. The place is sick. I like the docks too. Damn. Look at that one. Wow. Give us the rundown. Elwood colorway. Uh, Break uh, this one down. Yeah, this is the same model, the CM503. I think I just broke this out a little earlier, but... Uh, Not that colorway, though. Yeah, all brown gum right there. That's say like, tan gum. Okay, I was going to say. premium suede right there. Dude, that one looks so sick. It's like premium leather. Wow. Damn, dude. We're getting to, like, almost to, like, Tom Penny, where we're going to, like... With the brown shoes, yeah, you know, the okay, excel. You know the but... story on that, right? No, I might butcher it, but uh, they asked Tom what he wanted this first pro model to be. Yeah, he was wearing Timberlands at the time, he <laughs> just like kind of like showed them the Timberlands, so that's why it's more of like a mid, yeah, but it does have the airbag and stuff. I had I had that one time, and then someone they offered me something I couldn't really refuse, so I just like sold it to them. Damn, because these are what I'm sentimental about, and then if I do have a pair, like. You know, this cost them too. I'm not really sentimental about that. I never had that when I was a kid. Yeah. But I just, as a collector, I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty dope shoe. Yeah. yeah. I have to have it. And it's a little dough if you can, someone wants to buy it too. 
Yeah. Times are tough, and you're like, fuck, we yeah. need to buy more shoes. <laughs> I don't I don't try to make come ups, and I'm not a store. Yeah. But every now and then I'll get a DM where somebody wants to buy something, and then I'll say, okay. And then somebody else will get a lead that I'm selling it. Yeah, but I, I'm like collector, so yeah. I'm not trying to sell. And then I'll have like five people tell me, oh, you're going to satisfy your customer. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, like, Jesus. I'm, I'm not a store for this. Yeah, what? So, yeah. sign up for this. <laughs> I just don't want to put in the description like not for sale on every, yeah, every single yeah. post. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Lately, it's just been uh, like memes from Circa. Yeah, because they blocked me. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, if you can look it up. Yeah, let's lot. do yeah. that. Let's do that. <laughs> that's beautiful. Memes are my life. Um, which count? It's uh, selling the wind. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. What the hell is this? I love some memes. This is perfect. Which one? Uh, keep going down. So the Shrek. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Come on, open computer. Kevin, this, you know how to You're do still it. on 56k, right? Your dial up. Um, sure. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on a. Whatever they used to do, the net, net zero. <laughs> hey, well. We should be hard, hardwired in, but we're not. Right. Bad yeah, zero. so you can see here, Shrek is pissed off that that shoe looks dope. Yeah. Because it's a Chad Muska model, <laughs> but he's happy that they released that piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I kind of switched the meme a little bit. There you go. That's hilarious. Perfect. My followers, are, they're so fucking cool, though. Like, they, they understand when I post something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. And then the next one is Winnie the Pooh. He's a, he's fucking content. He's kind of laughing. <laughs> yeah, so like, <laughs> just to describe what we're seeing, I made Winnie the Pooh up top kind of looking bored at uh, Muska's first model, which is actually pretty sick. Yeah. And then the second, he's like looking like a G and he's happy because he can buy some shitty circus at Walmart. Oh, it's true. He's really happy about that. It does actually say Walmart. Yeah, they, they look Rambo tied. You know, <laughs> somebody Rambo tied him. Yeah. So it looks like a football. He's oh, geeing up yeah. about him. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah. This Pooh Bear looks a little stoned on the top. Look at the Damascus. Yeah. He looks like he had a bunch of peanut butter and honey. <laughs> and like... It's, it's still in that stash pocket, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what stash I'm saying. Pocket. That Pooh Bear looks stash some honey in that. This dude's like, just fucking... Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Nice, man. Those are solid memes. Yeah. Gotta take your shots. They blocked you, you know? Yeah. Let's fuck that out of here, bro. Yeah. A lot of other fans were saying a lot worse, and yeah. I was just trying to be, you know, <laughs> trying to be straight with them. But I do I do have a following, and so does Trump, so I could see why they were like, nah, let's shut him up. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, man. They should just go skateboard. That's the first things. First mm -hmm. things first, right? Yeah. Like, dude, go skate, and then you would have some skate shoes, you know? Depends, man. There's probably not even a skateboard doing it, just like the New York thing, you know? Yeah. Imagine skating in those. John John says, it's 9 a.m. here in the Philippines. Hell yeah. See that? Good International, morning. dude. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Make yourself some eggs. Yeah. Is there a lot of uh, a lot of questions or anything? I, I realize we haven't really been yeah, taking those, questions. Those shoes are so damn good. Imagine skating in those. Jose R. Rodriguez. Um... I used to skate S shoes, uh, Tribo. Tribo, hell yeah. yeah. Do you have those? That was, I do not have those. I think I remember um, them, though. The Tribo and one other shoe shared the same outsole, but that was a uh, uh, Frank Boistel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he designed the scheme. He, uh, like, most of the shoes we we love, you know? He, yeah. He designed a lot of the shoes, uh, early S shoes for Costin. Oh, sick. He, yeah, he designed the Tribo. Oh, nice. So it's like oh, yeah. one of his designs. Yeah. That's it was the sick. Vario, the Tribo, and I think the Symbol. I'm not really sure. They came out at like the same time, basically. Yeah. The same drop. Yeah. I think I remember those ones. I remember the Tribo ones for sure. Yeah, man. Well, we got to skate soon. Yeah, we definitely got to skate. Whether it's New Bedford. Where are you? You're, you're near New Bedford, right? Yeah, the question is. Yeah. It's like right on the line in New Bedford. Yeah, definitely have to go shred Lindsay's. Maybe Kevin can... Hell yeah. All the way over my co collection. Or something. <laughs> Once he's healed, he's yeah, he's good. Like, like two massive, weeks, hopefully. Massive, always. Get me stitches out tomorrow, and then I'll know, like, uh, how long till I can actually like.
like skateboard again. Just take yeah. bar, like Barth did this time, just super slow. <clears throat> take your time, build the strength up, yeah. and then get to it. You know, Maybe. strengthen that thing <laughs> up so you don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Right well, you got metal Im- implants, right? <laughs> he's part robot now. Right. Yeah, he's part robot. I'm That's trim not. Brandon was oh, natural. <laughs> I have less less human body now. Right, I light, gave a piece of lighter. myself to skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel so much lighter. I don't know what it is. Now you can wear some of these bulk, bulky fucking shoes. <laughs> Skinny boy with the bulky shoes. Dude, that would be We should get him some world. compression pants too. They're doing that for the Olympics. We get Kevin in them. Throw him in some spandex. So is all I need gonna be uh Supporting the, the Olympics? The only way <laughs> like just clothing? I'll, I'll watch the Olympics, and I'm definitely going to make some jokes and commentary, some commentary over it. If I was supporting a skateboarder that wanted to go into the Olympics, then that's how I'd be involved. But it would have to be someone who actually wants to do that. Because mm-hmm. I do not. <laughs> I would never want to. It's too rigid. It's too boxed up. It's like a, the whole reason I like skateboarding is because it's not a sport. Mm-hmm. The opposite in fact, it's more open to some degree, you know? Yeah. People go to the skate park and they just... I mean, I guess people do that in basketball and stuff, too, but, like, you know. But yeah. if someone's super into it, like, fine. I'm mm-hmm. gonna... Some people are competitive, <clears throat> just I'm not. Yeah, I'm this not might open. sound a little bit shallow, but, like, with the competitive so stuff, it's, it's like... So fucking shallow, bro. You know, you go... Get these shoes out Play of a bunch of football <laughs> and stuff, and you don't really look at the same people like you do with skateboarding. It's like... Yeah. If you see someone in a state you're you're not familiar with yeah and they're skating you're just like oh we go through the same yeah, shit there's, like, there's a connection yeah oh okay when so you see another skater you're saying yeah yeah you, you so I think we joked about this before like baseball players like then do they just like go to a different state and show up at a field with like a bat and a ball and they're yeah. like hey guys hey, can <laughs> I crash at your place yeah, yeah, yeah can I crash what? yeah <laughs> but like if a skater is just like chilling on the side of the road and you just had a session with him and he's pretty cool yeah I don't, it might be far fetched to say he's gonna crash with you but like if you made a connection, it's probably going to be yeah, yeah, exactly. more probable than not, you know? Yeah. The way I got a board was my, I met a kid one day and he had an extra board and he asked me to sleep over his house. So, I was also 13 at the time. But like, yeah. <laughs> not happening nowadays, but. <laughs> yeah, I was 13 when I was, you know, trying to flip through magazines to see all the ads of these shoes and stick them to my wall. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. funny. My friend Dale had all the trans world magazines. Yeah. He was the kid who got me into skating. And he had a subscription to Transworld and 4 and one so, like, yeah. all the time those things would be showing up. And does he still have them? Uh, that's think? a good question, dude. I bet he does. Uh, he has such a huge collection of that stuff. And uh, we would just go through them. So the magazines didn't always survive. No. Cut them up, fucking all that shit. You know? Yeah, I, I have a good, like, I have two boxes full of Transworld, but I don't, yeah. I don't know if they're going to be worth anything. Mm. VHS? Um, no, no, DVDs. just magazines. Oh, magazines, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, they went on doing kind of print, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Sign of times. Huh? Mags are weird, though. I looked into that a little What's bit, up? like, not too long ago. Mags, it's, yeah. like, weird with, like, the price. Like, I bought that na- the Thrasher from 1995 for, like, $12. But there's, like, other, like, that will be a couple of years off that are, like, $55 or, like, $85. Yeah, it it's, it's, so, it's such random like pricing. one issue with it. To one dude on the cover, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I That's what it, like, prominent. comes down to, I think, is, like, whoever's on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, covers are pretty sick. Yeah, if you're buying, like, a vintage magazine, that's what you're looking at, you yeah. know what I mean? You're not going to be flipping through all Nah, I do the articles. Yeah, but you're buy the big I flip through the, 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 the old thrasher all the time, and it's yeah. funny because all the ads look like what people try to make now. Like, it's, like, going back towards, like, the 90s aesthetic a lot yeah. Yeah. in some ways, so it, like, kind of looks like something from nowadays, but, like, it's just set back in time. It's yeah. weird. For me, I kind of had to get nostalgic. I was opening the trans world, and I was reading articles instead of just, like, flipping through advertisements. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was, like, a Circa Europe tour. And it was, like, Jamie Thomas. Uh, it was Jamie Thomas, Chris Cole, Jamie Thomas, Mark Alpiard, and Chad Muska. And I'm like, what the hell, like? That's insane, you know, that trifecta right yeah. there. They put it on a whole tour. So I'm like, video. Yeah, it's yeah so I'm just good. like reading it. Just like crazy. Yeah. It's wild. There's good articles, dude. I used to love mm-hmm. the writing and skateboarding. That was one of the reasons yeah. about the magazine. It was like reading all the articles and then the photography is amazing as well. And just, and then the cover, you know. And then there was checkouts and all that stuff. Like, oh, sh- yeah. shout out mm-hmm. Nick Barth. He's got a checkout. The first issue all I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. does he know spoiler yeah, yeah, alert yeah, he spoiler. knows he's got an interview he answered the question it's an interview yeah, <laughs> answer him. I don't know which one you were in with the birdhouse ad I had a few uh, birdhouse ads in the what was it in the drainage ditch oh uh, uh trans maybe it. yeah 405 dude. switch flip no regular kick flip 
the flat. But you were hot, you were like super fucking high though. Yeah, I remember yeah. seeing that. It was like, like a man. ditch with a ledge and like all the way over. I never really figured that those ditches were so so like shady to skate. They're where very they look very smooth. Yeah. And then when you're there, mm-hmm. you're like, oh man. Yeah, you realize it's yeah. like studded ground. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Like someone took a rake. Yeah. You know, like pulling it up. Oh, so it's the worst. Yeah. Some are better than others for sure, but those ones mm-hmm. in particular are rough. Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple birdhouse ads. I remember a tray flip down a triple set I did. I was pretty stoked on. Uh, I think a T, but we wanted to shot that one. That was the coolest thing about going out riding for birdhouse was I shot with all the the dudes from all the magazines, you know, like Joe That's Brooke, cool. Atiba, like, dude, oh, yeah. everyone. Su- what's that? Atiba's pretty cool. He he hit up Chomp on Kicks and said, I have shoes from back in the day. You guys want them? Yeah. So, like, sick. we all pitched in together and just got, like, a bunch of pairs. They weren't, like, incredibly rare. Yeah. But they, it's cool, like, getting stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's rad that he's willing yeah. to do that. Right. Yeah. Sue Tran, like, we shot with so many epic people, man. That was, like, the best thing about doing that. I lived in, like, Southern California and just shot with everybody. And the goal was to, like, because of your amps, so you're trying to get an interview in every mag, you know? Yeah. Because you're like, what can I do? And, like, so you, because you're trying to prove that you're, like, you're not just laying about, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, prove your worth. I'm skating. This is, like, let's get it, you know? Mm-hmm. So we just skate every day. It was, like, full missions all the time. It's rad. Like, Sorry, it's rad too because yeah. the photographers are on the same shit. They're just like, yeah, let's mm-hmm. get photos, let's stack photos. Yeah, they're on the same hustle you are. Pretty much. Like, yeah, they're just like, it's fun, it's awesome. Everyone will make a little money. Like, I remember the second time I met you, you were, we were at Livesey. You were you were skating towards me, but then you you did a tray flip, and you you shifted it away from me, nice. and I was like, wow. <laughs> so I I really want to be a skateboarder now. Like, at that point, I was pretty much just, like, ollie and 180. Yeah. And then I was like, I want to flip my board a little bit. Yeah. Like, sick. Sick. <laughs> if you can pull a tray flip in midair, like, away from me, it was, like, a good stair set, you know? Yeah. You're looking at it and just power slide at you. That's yeah. what I usually Well, that's your thing now. nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> I just fucking come right at you. <laughs> Watch out! You don't know which way I'm going to go, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, fuck. I think we nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. Anything else? I'm pretty much Any last it. words? No, no, I'm good. You Til guys know where to find me. Yeah. At, at Selling the Wind is my personal Instagram, and then Chomp on Kicks is our actual shoe collecting Instagram for the community. We we help you sell shoes from the past or find them. We do classifieds. Yeah. Yeah. That's rad. Sick. 18,000 followers. I, I never thought it would reach that. It was like 10K one day, and I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty big news. And once I hit 15, yeah, we got something here, and then it was like after 15, it kind of like quit. Like yeah. people coming in like crazy. That's awesome. Things like man. this really help. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. stoked that we can help you out. And your, your your shoe collection is beyond impressive, man. It's heavy. Thanks. And it's, it's rad that uh, this much culture and like effort history. and history and everything that skating is is like right here. here. You know, these are hours of lives to get make these things. Definitely, you know? definitely, yeah. People make things worthwhile. You know, like it's all the people that were involved, which is awesome. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. still do that with skateboarding forever <laughs> oh yeah man thanks man thank you super fun oh yeah kk welcome back my friend Bad thing. later oh, where too. can you find cost ones later i think we covered all uh chop on kicks yeah chomp, chomp on, on kicks. kicks we just told you ty so yeah. you could use the tag chop on kicks or you can use the tag Skate Shoe Wars with an 8. Yeah. Because I guess that's the cool thing. Both on Instagram, though. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you, you don't have Facebook on? Or do you? Uh, we, we do, yeah. Nice. That's awesome. But Instagram's the one. Instagram's primary, yeah. Hell yeah. We have a website as well. Right. All right, let's kill the stream. Yo, later, my dudes. Thanks hey, for watching. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel. Thanks for checking out the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to leave. I'm going to leave. I got to pee.